recorded. Welcome back <laughs> to the Generous Degenerates. I am your host, Juan. I am. I'm Marce. Damn, your hair went everywhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Okay, we are we are currently uh, recording an episode. We want to go ahead and give a right off the bat. We want to go ahead and give a shout out and a big thank you to everybody that's been liking our stuff. Our Insta, we've had a good Instagram two weeks. Uh, we currently have a, a, a clip that's going that that's doing this thing right now, and that's pretty badass. So thank you guys, thanks for all the shares. Keep it up, like thank everything. Thank you for Instagram. boosting our egos. Just yeah, a little bit. no, my ego is not boosted. <laughs> <laughs> my ego is not boosted. I I am more surprised. I'm like, are they got do do they have the right account? Who the, who's what algorithm is working now? But yo, they did change that Instagram algorithm, and they also changed so. the YouTube algorithm, and that's what pissed me off. Yeah, because the YouTube one got whack and the Instagram one got fired. So they need to they need to get it together. You know what I mean? But anyway, like us on all the social media, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, the whole nine. Have a great day with that. Um so thanks for that, everyone. It's been surprising, but it's been fun. Uh that being said, we also, you know, just trying to keep up with the with the day to day. Why'd you laugh when I told you you look like Rue? No, I didn't laugh. Oh. Okay, so I didn't laugh because you said, I, what, what do you say I look like? Gru. Gru? Despicable oh, okay, me. despicable me. <laughs> no, I didn't laugh whenever, whenever you said that because I was looking at my leg whenever you said that, and then immediately I thought about those F1 drivers with the thick stop, necks. Stop, stop, <laughs> stop. Okay, listen. Stop, stop. Okay, put my camera back on. Guys, I my, my sister's obsessed with F1, and I just realized because she'd be posting all this stuff about all these F1 totem poles. And <laughs> and I realized that these F1 drivers got thickety necks. They got really thick okay? ass necks, bro. Man, look at my neck. <laughs> look at my neck and how, you see this is a normal neck. Put, puts, a, puts a picture of Carlos Sainz on the <laughs> look, side. Yes, I'm gonna put a picture of it right here, Rocky. <laughs> right? That's a thick neck, guys. That's a thick neck. And I'm gonna put that other picture that you posted of that man's neck being, being thicker than his thigh. <laughs> hey, that's not okay. That's not, well, it's not that it's not okay. I just had never seen something like that. <laughs> I wasn't aware of this. I, I you know, yeah. Some some body types make sense. When you play football <laughs> and you're a linebacker, I kind of expect you a to be back, to be know? over here to be like uh, you know and to go to town to know how yeah. to push things, you know? If you if you ride equestrian, you know? I What's expect their body you, type? You, you you don't know about girls that ride equestrian? Are they, are they, is that is that what is that what Drake was talking about in his in his in his song? He's like my aunt, whatever, had wrote equestrian, some thick, thick women. Are they thick? They, they thick, thick with? Uh, they, they thick, thick women. with it. Okay. They thick with it. Okay, so I, I, I immediately, I know what to do. I know what to expect. I know the mental image. So whenever I think about F1 drivers, yes. I know that they're fit. Because they have to be, because yeah. they got to move the car. I, what, what, you know, once you think about it, you're like, yo, that makes sense. But I didn't know so, that yeah. it affected the neckage. I didn't know that yeah. it affected their this these muscles right here. Well, yeah. So when I saw this Ima man's neck, okay, imagine what happens if you. This is the only thing that I'm trying. I don't know. I, I'm sorry. I keep cutting you off. I want to know what happens to these men's if they if they get injured and they can't work out. What happens to that neck? If if I got big arms and big legs and I stop working out, it's gonna turn to fat. Is it gonna turn to fat? That's not how muscles work. Yes, it does. For, you ain't never seen somebody that just stop working out and then they, they have like big old arms and then all of a sudden their arms get really flabby. They yeah, get, like they're the, still thick, but they're not as toned and they don't have muscle mass yes, anymore. Yes, but you don't. But you're also talking about what's like a place gonna happen that, to that neck. Is what I'm talking about. You're talking about like places that like normally have like muscle like fat that covers the muscle way more commonly because that's it's not, supposed to be that's not a thing but on the neck the, your neck's not that you hey, your neck I'm, don't got that look, much fat I'm in gonna it gonna verify this for me how many how many mexicans that we know i'm gonna keep it to mexicans so y'all don't talk shit about me that i'm trying to be that I'm trying, <laughs> how many mexicans you see with some thick fat necks yeah but <laughs> that's because the they all thick and fat hey listen <laughs> tell me the truth alejandro with the rolls in the back? Yeah, but that's because they're big. <laughs> you know I'm, yeah. I'm not being fat phobic. I'm just trying to tell but you. But that's because that's I'm, a big person. Okay. That's a big person. So what happens, if this, what what happens, if, this, what happens if this totem neck no, stops working out? Oh, they still keep their thick ass necks. Every, every retired race driver just looks like they got thick necks. 
<laughs> they That's do. That's the funniest thing in the world to me. But it makes sense though because if you're thinking about it, no, it makes sense. Like, I just did not picture it until I saw the picture. Yeah. You said, and I immediately texted back, and I was like, "Why is this man's neck looks like?" I thought. You know, I went to rational conclusions in my mind as a photographer. I'm like, yo, they probably use a different lens. They probably like, no, you they know, all look like that. that. And then I, and then Every you posted single one the picture. Of them has thick ass neck. Then you posted the picture of that man. That man's leg was smaller than his neck, and I was like, this, this is, this is a problem. This is a problem because you're not, what is happening here? And then I'll take a thick ass neck if it's insured the way it's insured. I'm okay with it. I don't know. <laughs> Break that down because. <laughs> What you mean, insured? Well, you know how, like, if a if a guitar player, his essence and his 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 livelihood is on his fingers, so you gotta insure the hands. I have never heard of a of a guitar player's hands being insured. Okay, well, let's say a, a mm. I guess in like football or whatever, you gotta insure, make sure that people like. There was that one porn star that are, got his dick insured. Well, there you go, violinist stuff like that. People have to dollars. have like if like if your hand if something about your body or whatever is like is is essential for what you're doing you're gonna have it insured by life insurance and stuff like that because well you're worth more with it you know with whatever you got you sure. know what I mean? so because these motherfuckers are worth millions and millions of dollars they neck is insured <laughs> something happens to that neck ferrari gonna have something to say about it <laughs> you know what I'm <laughs> they get all truck was all stuff. The old the, the things. Truck yeah and everything Dang, Man, that's but crazy. I mean, honestly, like to handle the G force that they have to go through in a freaking car, I get it. Cause when we went go karting, yeah, uh, at Coda, like I was like, first of all, my my vision is impaired in every way, shape, and form. Like I just felt so. I had a good time. It was so fun. It was so fun. But I felt so like this was it. This is all I could see. Like nothing around. Like it was just really limited vision for everything. So like the thought that these people got to be in that hole for like a whole hour. Trying to make sure, like, going, like, 200 miles an hour, trying to make sure not to hit the person next to me. I hit people. Well, I almost hit people. But, like, you know what I mean? That's I, I, wonder if that, I wonder if they get hungry in there. Um, They lose a lot of weight when they're in there. Well, because it's hot. It was hot. Mm -hmm. In our little go-karts, we didn't even... We, didn't, we were open. You're not even surrounded. And they're wearing full body suits. So, they're, yeah. they have to weigh, I think, like... uh, They have to weigh, like, 70 kilograms. Damn, and most of that is neck. Yeah. <laughs> and most of that is neck yep. muscles, bro. They, this they, muscle weighs more than fat. So they, that's that's a that's if, that's if fifty that's fifty kilogram neck and then and then fifteen kilogram body. If they don't weigh seventy K, they have to put weights on them to make sure that they weigh that much for the car. They start like floating? But I don't know, bitch, but but somebody <laughs> You know how like when it. you go on Tower of Terror in, in Disney World and you're too small? Even though you tall enough and you skinny and that shit drops, your ass stays up there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, literally. That happened to me. <laughs> I know this from experience. That happened to me. My dad had to grow a comeback down. Yeah. And I was like, woo! I thought that was part of the ride, but that wasn't. Nah, it. That wasn't it. I was just really skinny. Mm -hmm. Disney, y'all got to. No wonder y'all discontinued that ride. Y'all probably had a Did whole they? bunch of skinny boys. Yep. They turned it now. Now they're turning it into the Guardians of the Galaxy ride. Oh. The world is evolving. <laughs> the world is evolving. Kind of sad though. Yeah, yeah. Hey, by the way, on that on that clip that's going viral right now mm. on Instagram, apparently, and I'm gonna go ahead and address this head on. Apparently, that's a comedy skit. How? That, that's oh a, yes, that's yes. a comedy skit. But I didn't know that. It's just, I just do that. It's just what it's done. I just do that. But it's a great bit. This guy does it. Let me. I don't know. I've, I forget the guy's name. But he actually commented on the on the the on the yeah, thing. Yeah, I saw that it was because really somebody cool. was all like, "Yo, this guy's stealing your bit." And first of all, first of all, I'm not a comedian, so you're not gonna catch me <laughs> on some bits. stage <laughs> trying to do this bit because it's not a bit. I really did it. I really do it to to my friends that are astrologists and you know and prescribe to the notions and you know because. Those people kind of irk me, so I really do it. It feel it, and to be fair, uh, we we've been getting a whole bunch of shares. People have been sharing it, and all those, mo a lot of those shares on their pages are like, "Yo, I do this all the time." Yo, it's my favorite thing to do. Yo, it's my, so it's not like I'm. It's not like I'm over here searching, trying to find out shit to say. I just really do that shit. Well, yeah. And the guy was all like, "Dude, this is fair use. Like, it's all good. Like, you know, much love." So shout out to you, but that's. 
It's just funny. You know what I mean? It's, apparently, it's a bit, and everybody's like, yo, it's about stealing content. I'm like, stealing bits. Stealing bits. But we're not. I'm, like, I'm not stealing nothing. We're not no, comedy. Just, You're not supposed to life. be comedy. Okay? I'm not a comedian. If you think I'm funny looking and you laugh, that's different. If you think my ears are funny, that's different. If I say something on here because I'm a character and I just like fucking Faisa. around with you guys, that's different. I'm not going to go on stage. Trying I'm about to be, to be Andrew Schultz hey, out five here. Five years later, I'm a comedian. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give it a shot. I'm give it a shot. He's like, I guess I can do it. Nah, I'm not a comedian, dude. I don't even have the propensity or the desire to, to, to do that. I just talk to you guys about the shit that I go through in my life. And I don't think I could ever them. have like the, the... I don't think I have the wit nor the thick skin to be a comedian. Oh, I do. I do for sure. But, I'll, but um, you know. That's so humble of you to say. I love it. Yeah, but I, 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 but I wouldn't do it because I would just talk, I would just use it as a way to talk shit about a lot of people mm. or things, and I don't, I, you know, I feel like I got I got better ways to, to do that. I got be, you know, just I got better openly things. Openly talk shit about it. Yeah, yeah I'd, I'd be like, I like this, and then I try to make it a comedy bit, or like, you know, yeah, I yeah. just talk about you guys, <laughs> and then I just get reactions like that. Let me tell you about the story. I put my my foot in my sister's toe and my stop, sister's foot. Stop, and bro. And my sister's and my Have sister's. Have you said mouth. that on here before? No, not yet. We've never talked about it before. No, but it's okay. We'll get that to it. That was eventually. a canon event in my life, bro. Like it literally, like it, it is a canon indi- event in my life. Indistinguishable taste. Now, man, I remember those. It was it was. I remember those times during summer. I don't know if you Hispanic kids like can can relate to this, but like whenever your parents were like so busy during summer that they had to go to work and all these things and they just like left you alone with all your siblings and shit there's always that mm-hmm. one like the older sibling had to stay in not go out with his friends or whatever just to take care of the younger siblings so what we did was we would just chill in the living room and watch dragon ball z all day you watch dragon we ball z, watch dragon all, ball z day. all day like we we got the little fucking song stuck in our head of little baby goku it was a goku gohan, or gohan? Gohan. gohan gohan singing and he's just like you know, whatever. And then those are like some fucking like key, like core memories in my head, including you putting your motherfucking toe in my foot in my mouth. Disgusting. Classic. Classic. You I know, and just hiding from like Jehovah's Witnesses. Sometimes, Witness sometimes when people yawn, it's just a beautiful moment that you have to take, that you have to like capitalize on. I and don't even a, know how And you as a big brother, that's like, just I don't understand where I how it even like mechanically, like I don't understand how, why? Like, why? It was just an instinct. I don't know how it to really it to you. It really was an instinct because I, I don't just remember being there. I guess I was yawning or something. Yeah, I was yawning. I'm open my mouth for something. And you just swoop de doops Yeah, I reached over the couch with my foot. It went, yeah. Bah! And I hooked you. I hooked you. I hooked you like a, like a, a fish. Like a fish, I was bro. Like, I, I hooked it. I had your whole ass toe in my mouth. It's and then you were disgusting. mad all day. But I was because you're fucking life. nasty. Because what? We were like... You were young. You were like 10 we, years old. We, yeah, yeah. Old. so that means that you were 16 with your little dirty ass, yeah. like break dancing feet. Yeah. She was nasty. Mad <laughs> nasty, bro. Like, hey. ew. Ugh. Look, sometimes you got to do what you got to do when you got to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Opportunity yeah. taken. Yeah, for sure. I got to take, you got to take opportunities when they come to you. You can't, you can't live your life second guessing yourself. Okay? <laughs> you can't, listen, you can't live your life second guessing yourself ever in your life, right? Sometimes whenever you see an opportunity, you got to go. You got to do it. I agree. It is, what, it is what it is. Damn. So what else did you want to talk? Oh. Oh. Please. Guys, let's. Okay. Okay, I wanna- not, not guys. I'll expect. Look. I'm going to explain it. I have it. Okay, hold on. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna pre- to introduce it. Me and my sister were at the movies yesterday, and we were thinking about. She she started talking about soft launches, and I was like, "What? I didn't understand what it is." Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I know what it is. I just have never heard it be called that. So just define it, and then so, we'll explain it to Alex because Alex has no idea what we're talking about. Yes. So a soft launch, okay? Soft launch, based off of Urban Dictionary, is soft launch is is specifically a photo preview. Of a talking stage, not a situationship, a talking stage, before it becomes an official relationship on social media, um, taking photos of their dinner plate with their hands or part of their face or some of like part of their shoes to elude that there's somebody 
special in your life. Like, for instance, if I had a dude that I was keeping on the DL for a minute and then I was like, okay, well, maybe you, you can be introduced to the masses, I would... Like maybe to the masses, to the masses I would. <laughs> I the would, way y'all bitches really be talking about this. <laughs> I would essentially like, let's say we were out to dinner, and like I would like had my little like champagne or my whatever, and then like I would post their champagne or like part of their like sleeve or something. But like obviously letting it known that it, letting it be known that I'm there with a man. Yeah, and then like consistently after a while. You'll just keep posting parts and bits of the man, but never enough to where they can piece the man together. Just enough to that you know that there's a man involved. Okay, so listen. This has been going on for a long time because I remember dating people and they were trying to do the little soft launches and I would exit the soft <laughs> I would exit the soft launch. I would not allow myself to be part of the soft launch in the slightest. Whenever they were taking pictures of their phone. I mean, of their food, and my, and I'm there already grubbing. I'm like, hey, don't put me in your picture. I don't want people. I don't want you to see. I don't want to know because here's the here's the thing. Y'all call it. I'm over here picking on boogers and stuff. <laughs> Y'all call it a soft launch, right? However, as a guy, I'm gonna tell you what I see on the other side. I see pictures online on Instagram wherever. And I'm just scrolling through either on their story or on their post or whatever, blah, blah, blah. And I'm looking through and then I'll catch a soft launch. Yeah. And I don't think of it in my head of like, ooh, this girl's talking to somebody. What I, what registers in my ma- in, 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 in my head is. Hope was trying not to be seen. No, no, no. This, no. This poor bastard. This poor oh, bastard why? just took this girl out on a whole date and she don't want to claim him. And she over oh. here trying to shit. And she over here just trying to sit and shit. Like, oh, that's what I think that's about. That's what you think. That's what I think about as a guy. I'm like, damn, this poor guy out here is really trying to get with this girl. And she is not doing and she is going out of her way to let people know, let somebody know that she's that that, that she's somewhere with somebody. But he gets to be the guy that gets in a way used for that picture, but not w- gone home too. Because then a week later, two weeks later, three weeks later, there's no follow up for the picture. Maybe the talking stage is over. Maybe something else happened. I'm like, poor dude. Mm. Uh, on to the next soft launch. You that's see? the way I see it as a guy. That's so that's why I never wanted to be part of any soft launches. I'm like, you ain't about to make me look like that. I will take you on a date. You can take as many pictures of your own food with yourself by you, but as as, for, as, as you want. <laughs> but your own but, food uh, yeah. with your own but, self. Yes, but you're not about to. <laughs> but you're not about to have me in that in that in that thing because I'm soft launching you too. <laughs> if that's the case, <laughs> if that's the case, I don't know well, if I want to be seen with you. I think why, like why I, you the prize. I, <laughs> why, why can't I be the prize? Why I, can't I introduce you to the masses? I think I think overall, like if I was, because I think more often than not, men don't give a fuck about social media like that. So like, men don't care to post women on their social media, even if they're dating. Like most men, even if you are like one hundred percent dating, it's not about whether dating. we care. Y'all care. Well, if I mean, a man posts a picture of a, of, a, of his girl on social media and he doesn't have and he hasn't like. Posted her consistently for for a long time. Then, as a guy, I'm gonna tell you the guy's perspective here. As a guy, when you when you scroll through it and you, hey, yo, my man's posted a picture of his girl that Valentine's Day or something, right? It wasn't because he was all like, yo, I'm gonna. Go to-. It's because it's homegirl girl was, was like, like hey, why you never why you post, never post me? me before? Why you never post? You ashamed of me? How come you don't want people to know? And then I have to reference back to like, you don't remember that soft launch? <laughs> <laughs> you, you don't remember I soft launched you? Your elbow was in the picture. Whenever I, I took a picture of my wing stop. <laughs> you don't remember, right? So see, that's this is why I understand that soft. I understand the logic behind the soft launch and the hard launch, or whatever. I understand the logic 100. percent However, however, as a guy, when I look at a soft launch, I just think to myself, "This poor bastard." That's weird. That's what I think, especially if it goes really pretty. Oh. Yeah. Especially if the girl has like a um. Well, you see though, because like as a girl. In my mind, like, I wouldn't soft launch you unless we're actually talking, like, like actually dating. Oh, and that's the other because thing. Because I'm that's not about to thing. soft launch my sneaky links. You ain't supposed to know. I'm not. You, but that's you, the other you thing. You are never going to be known. That's the other thing. You ain't never going to be remember, seen. I remember as a, as, it's not even a sneaky link. As somebody that I was just, like, um, like messing around with. Casually. Really? Casually. As somebody I was just casual with. I never wanted to be part of that well, yeah, sneak I'm not about peek to launch or whatever. But, but because they were trying to make somebody else jealous. 
Oh, my you know what I'm saying? Like somebody out there, they're talking to and they want they want you to know whether it's ex, whether it's somebody. They want that that guy to know I'm here with another guy. Mm -hmm. You need to know I'm either moving on or this and that. There's an objective and a motive to this. Mm -hmm. So I never wanted to be part of that because I don't want no problems. But when I see it, when mm -hmm. I see it happening to other people, I'm like, God damn. Like either this man on the off chance that this man really likes this girl, mm -hmm. poor fucking bastard. Uh, that's and, so and, weird and, because and then, like I don't then, feel like I I feel like that's like one way of girls doing it, but I like for one one would never I know, post. You got ethics. You I got, got ethics. ethics. You got you got street ethics. You got street I do morals. Got street ethics because you know what? As I'm not about to post no sneaky link. I'm not about to post no casual fling. You a real like, one? Unless. Unless you, this you person a real is a like, unless this person is a regular part of my life, and you just know that they're there. But the, even then, like I don't even post y'all on my stuff like that. Best, I, best, <laughs> like, like see what I mean? I post, when my mom get the soft, the brothers off. The brothers, <laughs> <laughs> like I post myself on my stuff all the time. So yeah. obviously, but like when it comes down to other people, I'm not about to be posting you for what? For who? <laughs> exactly <laughs> like that's exactly the so, point but it's always for somebody it's always for something so whenever i see a soft launch happen out there if a girl's me, really pretty because if i'm about to soft launch somebody is because i'm taking myself off the streets it's because especially, it's, it's cause especially all the if she's been know. for the streets especially if she's if, if, if every weekend she's been at some club if during the summer if, if what, what week are we in right now <laughs> we, 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 this is this is june 18th it's been three weekends of summer if all three weekends she's been to at Travis, listen, we've all seen this. Listen, yeah. if all three weekends she's been at Lake Travis, she's been at the river, she's been out, she's been out here at, on these streets. She, you know, mimosas on Sunday. If I, every weekend she's <laughs> yep. been posting girl, girl, you know, girl days, you know, bikinis, jumping off of boats, yep. and then all of a sudden there's a soft launch. I'm like, mira este pendejo. Absolutely. Like, who, they, this man's really trying. This, this man saw her at Lake Travis and said hey boo let me get your instagram and she was like yeah yeah and then and then <laughs> and now he's trying to call her in the summer when she don't even when he don't no. even realize that it's hot girl summer it's that, girl and summer. she already started her hot girl summer all of those posts were pre-planned she got the filters Absolutely. ready she had she had the hotel airbnb ready her friends already knew we had to we have the, we have the, the 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 breakfast already planned she got her whole summer planned out weekend by weekend by weekend Absolutely. next weekend she in vegas yep it's, it's one of the uh, a mandatory one of the girls has to have a birthday in the summer mandatory you can't Yo, have a friend my, group two you of can, my girls have you can't, a birthday you can't, during as the a summer. girl as a girl yep. I feel like I feel like it's predestined you can't have a friend group girl of at least two or more hot girls in that group without one of those girls having birthdays in the summer because I'm what, what reason do I need to be at a hotel pool yes the summer is a good reason, but also happy birthday. You my yeah. day one, blah, blah, yeah. blah. Then you're going to show picture, the, 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 the carousel pictures of you at the club. And then you all, oh, you so crazy. Oh, from day one, oh, blah, blah, this and that. Right. And Labor Day's coming or, yep. or you know, uh, yeah, no white after Labor Day. Labor Day's coming. Yeah. So y'all going to have y'all's white. Everything's already pre-planned. So some titties out there is doing, is being soft launched or sneak peeked for, for what, for some reason or another. And I, in my in, the, in my mind, I'm like, damn, that damn, sucks, bro. I, like, like you really, really didn't trying. think about that. I didn't think about how these hoes be functioning like that because the, these like, hoes be functioning like that. Because I, I mean, I could see the idea of like posting somebody to to potentially like you know arise some stuff from other people from other folks. Like I'm not gonna lie. I do something similar to that on my thing. I know you do. But Every <laughs> girl does. This is the point that I'm saying. This but is the point that I'm saying. Which I don't is why, post men. Which, which is why, sideline, side if you ever meet a girl and she don't take Instagram that seriously, that's the first green flag. That, no, <laughs> no, 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 Because no, you, ain't about no. to get, you ain't about to get soft launched, hard no, launched. No, you ain't about you to see, get. You see, some about y'all men, though, because let me tell you, one of y'all's boys ratted y'all out, or at least not you. Who? But <laughs> <laughs> My best friend, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> Who ratted me out? <laughs> From the grave. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, That's not what I meant. That's not you what I said. There. Oh, you meant men in general. <laughs> I mean, oh, he's up there laughing. <laughs> yeah, for real. Nah, he's I down can, there I, laughing. I, 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 I can make jokes. I can make, I can make jokes about him. I love, I love my dude. Um, nah, what I'm men in general. 
Sorry, my bad. So like, <laughs> I was like, as a as a woman, as women, we are full heartedly like I can't, I've seen so many videos of people being like, if a guy's Instagram like following is low, and if he has like no um like no pictures on his Instagram or like maybe like one or two or whatever, that's a green flag and blah 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 blah. And I was like, I was a stupid dumb bitch. And nah, I was, for guys is different. No, and I and I was a stupid dumb bitch, and I was all like. That's so true. If a guy's like not into Instagram or not into social media, like that must be a green flag. No. Until I met this one dude who dead ass was like, we lying to you, bro. We do this on purpose. I was like, what you mean? And they were like, nah, we pur-. like, he's like, I purposely got rid of everything on my social media, made sure to bring down my follow list, make sure to bring down like who, how many people I follow in ratio to how many people follow me. He's like, so that I can like, if I'm like talking to a girl, Who's dumb? She's gonna think that's a green flag. And I was all like, Nah, it's different for guys. Nah, like that's that's some mad shit. I was like, no fucking way, because I genuinely genuinely was one of those dumb bitches that really thought that was a green flag. Yeah, no, but, it, like, nah. but it's different. The way that the way that men operate on social media is very different than the way women operate on social media. Because there's a lot of social capital that you guys get off of social media, and for guys, oh, it's yeah. not like that. Our social capital comes from what happens outside of social media. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Unless that a is guy, true. Uh, unless a guy ha- has his business on social media, like I don't, I don't mean like his business, like unless his personal he's not business. Rife, yeah, and, and, no, I. I'm saying like unless unless his his actual money making uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. things are happening. Also, he's a, pro, a club promoter. He has to be. He's he's like a like a, a a personality. So he has to continue to network through social media be, to get the next things. Then that's not how how men operate. Men is men's cap the like social capital comes from what you do outside of that. Mm-hmm. It comes from how you fund getting the soft launched. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. If I pay for the dinner that makes you soft launch me, that's my value. Mm. Your value to the masses is going to be, look, I'm popular. Look, I'm here at Stake 48. Look, I went to Four With a Child. Look, I went to mm. this and that. And what my job has to be is I got to fund that. I got I, I to gotta figure out how to get, make sure to get I you there. I got to figure out how to get you there. You know what I mean? AC, todo. I can't mm. like, you know what I mean? Especially in this heat. I got to figure out how to get you there. That is cool. No drop of sweat. So that I get, so I get a call back. Mm. Like, so I, I got a question. That's my social capital so whenever to, you to, see to, a girl, to this thing. Whenever you see a girl posting all that stuff, and there is no soft launches there being done. You just, I'm assuming you're assuming that the girl is just like doing it herself. Like mm. there's no man like funding that. Oh no, I, I, I it's bad to assume, right? Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> it's bad to assume, but everything like, is contextual. Like I know plenty, I, I've seen on online plenty of, of girls that are doing their thing that I'm like, I know where you work. I know what mm. you do, or I know where you're, there's no way you're doing that on your own. Right. Oh, I so, see so, you, I so see there's gotta mean. be. So, it, I'm not saying it's a guy. I'm not saying that it's multiple guys. I'm not saying any of that. Mm. I'm not saying any of that. However, I know that that this cannot happen without some additional source, right? And then I also know the working girl. I also know like the highly independent got a good job, makes great money, independent, won't settle for 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 a dusty and. They, and I'm like, no, it totally makes sense how you could be flying yourself out to wherever, girl, and you killing yeah, yeah. it. You, you in your age, you're in your late thirties, mid thirties, late thirties. Especially me, because I'm in my thirties, yeah. so I know a lot of these, a lot of these people. You know, mid thirties, late thirties that are like, yo, I'm a working professional. I fucking killed it. I grinded all my all my twenties, and now and now I'm I'm enjoying my thirties because I, I I I fucking. Yeah. deserve that shit mm-hmm. and I didn't get pregnant and I didn't get I didn't get I met you know married and this yeah, and that yeah. so now I'm gonna go to the Mykonos and I'm gonna go to Cancun and I'm gonna go to Tulum and I'm gonna do whatever the fuck I want yeah. right so I see both of those however even on those girls I'm not saying they're for the streets in that in that in, 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 in that kind of way I'm just saying that they're smart women yeah wor- working women highly professional w- women that even they do the soft launch, and I'm like, bro, like you're 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 definitely getting used. Mm. If I don't see if I don't see that same elbow, two weeks out, if I don't start seeing progressively more of this man's, if I can't if, start piecing you right, together, if I, bro, if I can't start making an etch a sketch <laughs> of who you of how you look like, right? Then I know I know for sure that you're being used to to either show to show to somebody that you, that she's with somebody or this and that. Mm. I know for sure because I know she can take care of herself. Mm. I know I she can take care mean. of herself. You know what I'm saying? See, I know that she's got I know that she's got a six figure job. Because I this, know that she's I know that thing, she can, like as a girl, I would I would 1000% soft launch 
um when i feel like i'm like about like when i'm actually dating somebody like officially off the streets exclusively dating somebody yeah, right. type of situation i'm about to soft launch multiple people or whatever right right, but right. i will soft launch lots of situations that i be in so like even if if other if men are taking me to multiple places like different men at uh, different times and you might I not even use it, it. And, my, and you might not even use it as a, like a and like it's a, not necessarily a soft launch yeah it's just no like, you might just use it as a like 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 oh, I'm out. hey don't get caught comfortable yeah because you, you know what i mean yeah if you just if you got a lot of this shit i'll do it too <laughs> so, you know in my in my days yeah i, I might have been like yo i'm gonna yeah we can we can go to we can go to paris yeah and we'll have a great day friday night we'll just mm-hmm. go to paris but on saturday you might see me at at, at, at rustic brunch and then I didn't know that you went there. You, I go lots woke. of places. <laughs> <laughs> stay woke. <laughs> I got, I just, don't act like I can't go to two places in the weekend. Yep. Like you know what I mean. And it wasn't that, with you. I was with somebody. And that, that it could have been with y'all. So but I need y'all. To, I need I you to post, know. I post a lot of the the like you just don't know who with who. But I know you know I'm out. You just don't know with who type I'm of outside. situation. I'm, I'm outside. Out, I'm outside. We outside in these I'm streets. I'm outside, which te- which lets you know two things. I'm 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 not outside alone. And I like being outside. Yeah. So you got to deal with that. You gotta however, do you got to yeah. deal with that. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I feel like once I soft launch somebody, I'm, I'm a soft launch them. But I don't know if I would ever graduate that to a hard launch until I'm like. Until, we don't see a lot of hard launches out here. Until We don't see a lot of hard. A, this here's is what a I thing. see. Yeah. Here's what I see. I hardly ever do I do I do a hard launch. That's, do I ever see a hard launch? That's a rare sighting. We, Nowadays, we, yeah. we, we, we see a lot of soft launches. If anything, here's what we see. We see the soft launch. And then the, like the casual Instagram story. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, delete everything. Uh. All of a sudden, then you get like the no, no posts, no nothing. I'm going to take a break from social media, yeah. guys, because it's so toxic and I need time to yeah. myself. Bullshit. You got a boy. You got a man. Yep. And, and you don't want to be out and you don't want there to and be I, any evidence yes. of all of your other soft launches. Yep. You don't want there to be any evidence of all the DMs you be getting from people, mm. of all the stories that you be thirst trapping and everybody because liking your shit. That's the you thing, don't want though. any of that evidence. That's the you thing, though. It's scrub like. It dub, dub. It's it's like you got to be like as a girl and this is so shallow, but like as a girl, the minute you soft launch and the minute you really want to graduate them if I get to a, a hard launch, you're going to lose all your hoes. You're going to lose all the different. Like, and we got hoes in different area codes and states and places, countries even. You know what I mean? We got to keep that shit like we can't be losing it all. For some little dusty. So we got to make sure that whichever little dusty's arm I'm posting on my shit is about to be the dusty that I'm going to stay with for a minute. Because it can't be, you can't. Not in this climate. You can't do this. You know what I mean? So if I'm going to soft launch, it's going to be very, very, very specific. And then if I'm, if I'm, if I'm not. This damn, this would suck for a guy, huh? So this is what I'm saying. <laughs> like, this so that, is what I'm damn. saying. Look, this that is, means this that is if, the progression. I, that means if I don't soft launch and I'm just posting everywhere that me and this person are going to, and I never ever say that, all these people still gonna be in my DMs, just never there. knowing. Never knowing. It's Damn. much more captivating to to the audience that you're never gonna engage with, and to the to to the to the guy because it's it's, it's a class. I'm gonna walk you through it. I'm gonna walk you through it, and I'm not even in y'all's mind, and I'm gonna walk you through it. You do the you do the soft launch. Well, first of all, you got you you set your Instagram presence up or or or, or your pres your yeah. TikTok. Well, it's Insta. It has to be Instagram. It's yeah. nothing else, right? Or your Snapchat or Snapchat, right? You set up your presence. You do what you got to do. Oh, yeah, I'm out here. Oh, I'm outside. Oh, I went to, to 13 Associates. Wine night. Girls yeah. night. Oh, I like all oh, karaoke night. Oh, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Like, hey, we out, we out here. Let's go to the... Oh, summer's here. Lake I'm Travis. Yep. Yeah, we go, you know what I mean? Like, it's, oh, my God. We, it's the, the, the girls, the fam, whatever, right? Cool. No problem. All of a sudden, you get... A, you, get you have a lot of, a lot of inquiries... Yes. Men liking your there's like small little thirst traps. The big thirst trap doesn't exist anymore. They're like, no. oh my god, my 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 bathroom mirror is so messy. Like, no, that no, doesn't exist that no doesn't more exist because anymore. OnlyFans are screwed that up for y'all. Yeah. So now you got to be a little bit more obvious about your thirst traps, or a little bit, or like hella subtle. Like, I'm working on my body. I'm I'm working out. I'm doing this. I'm doing that here, right? So you get, and it's not actually a thirst trap. You may actually be doing all that shit, but still, niggas are gonna be looking. Guys are gonna be looking at you. What the time is? <laughs> <laughs> guys are gonna be looking at you and being like, "Yo, 
Good look, nice oh, pump, oh, blah, 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 oh, this yeah, and that. Yeah. Oh, I like that dress. Oh, you look fantastic. Look right, real blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All these you know, things. So all of that's going to happen. So you know who you you know who's who's picking up the vibes. You know who with fish are down there like, man, that's good. <laughs> Bre <laughs> bread, worms. Like, you know, all y'all all y'all know. That's Absolutely. The thing. See, that's the thing I say all the time about beautiful women. Y'all know. Beautiful women know that 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 your that your value comes in just by standing there. Absolutely, right? You learn that quick. So Bro, let me from the jump. <laughs> let, let me proceed. Then you might find somebody that's real interesting. Maybe some guy pierces the veil, does what they got to do. Maybe like is persistent, mm -hmm. takes you out a bunch of places. Right? You never wanted to claim on blah 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 this and that, or whatever. You do a soft launch. Just to let everybody, to your point, just to let everybody know, like, hey, stay woke. Mm -hmm. It could happen to anybody. Mm -hmm. Right? Like, <laughs> like it could have been you. It you know what I mean? It could have been you. It could have be been you. Weekend. It could have been you. But you told me last week that you don't got to, that the way your bank account is set up. So, no. Right? Yeah. So, yeah. So, you do the soft launch. All the guys in there have two reactions. Damn, poor dude, like me. Mm -hmm. Or they're like, man. Could have been me, like blah blah blah. Yeah, blah. yeah. I thought I felt right, this and that, <laughs> right? So then you decide to get a like. Then this man's that you're actually dating says some wild shit to you, and it floors you. <laughs> says, says it reveals something about themselves or this and that or blah 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 that fucking just tears you <laughs> apart. And you're like, and then now you're sitting there in the group chat with all the girls, like he really said, he really said. His grandmother made him who he was. And that's why he wants to be a heart surgeon because she died from a heart attack. And, and they're pulling at your feels. And now you're like, I'm falling in love with this man. And then now all of a sudden their red flags started turning to, to, into, yellows, into yellow flags. Now, they, now all of a sudden the red flags that you thought were red flags are like, nah, he's just sensitive. Those are warning like, nah, signs. this and that, blah, 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 and this and that. You know you. what? Like, I used to not like hair on the chest, but actually it's kind of sexy. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you, you start saying some dumb shit like that. And all the girls are like, damn, girl, Bob, what you going to do, Bob, Bob? Like, hey, right? And then all of a sudden, now we're midsummer. Uh, I'm giving you a portrait, right? Now we're midsummer. Now, yo, that homegirl that's only in the clique because her birthday's in the summer is like, <laughs> is, is her birthday. So now you got to figure all this shit out. Be like, man, I do. I got to go to Vegas for my girl's birthday, but I don't know. I'm still talking about this man as well, blah, blah. And it was supposed to be a whole trip. And then y'all, and, and now you can't <laughs> no, even be part of, and now, and now you, stop. and now, and now you can't even be part of the whole trip, uh, the whole trip Bro, because that, now you, now you not even, now me mentally, emotionally, psychologically, you not even for the streets no more. Now you got a duvet cover. Now you got a Bed. Now you got a bed frame. Now this, you got now you got a place this, to be. This is why right? that shit's dangerous. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Go I'm on. not even done yet. So then, at that point, you start to have an existential crisis yep. because, or an identity crisis because you're like, bro, my 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 Insta damn presence mm -hmm. is on some shit. I, I, I am that girl, blah, blah, blah. Like, I got three dresses that I bought at the thrift store that I was supposed to do, that I was supposed to wear, that to flaunt on these yeah. dudes. And now I can't even do it because I want to wear it with him to his homeboy's wedding that of a boy of the guy that don't even like the girl but they've been together since college and blah blah, blah this <laughs> and that right like yep. yeah, everything's making sense right now right you're like man you start to have an existential crisis so then the logical conclusion you cross off all the marks is I gotta delete everything I gotta start over why because you still got remnants you still got fossils building cause you got you little holes out you there got, waiting you got, for you you got your roster your roster's there, yeah. Right, or potential roster. The evidence, right? So you got to cleanse that shit, start over, let the, the guys know that you off, off the market. But then it also lets the new dude, when you erase it, know like, man, I really thought that she was for the streets. It turns out she don't really actually care about any of that shit without the guy realizing that women can rebuild that shit in an hour. Oh, yeah. In an hour, all they got to do, they got all that shit saved, all them Snapchat stories saved, all this, this, and that. Instead of posting it like it happened, all they got to do is a flashback Thursday. Yeah. Or like a flashback, like, oh, I remember this. Take me back here. Take right? me back. <laughs> yeah, right. Take me back to LA. <laughs> right, 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 right. So then yeah. you don't got to do nothing. So then, the, the, so then what ends up happening is you date for a couple months, maybe y'all break up. If y'all break up, you go back. I'm back, guys. Blah blah blah. This and that. If not, then you hard launch your entire persona with which, which, with your which relationship. New mans. You know what I'm saying? You see, I don't know if I don't know because I diagnosed it. That's the way that I be seeing and that's it. So or, true. That's so or, true. Or y'all end up tragic 
if 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 you want if you on the low twenties, you on the you know, and I, I don't even want to I don't even want to judge like that. But if you if you, it could it could be that you get pregnant and then when you come back, you hard launch the baby. You don't hard launch the 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 the, the man's dude. because the man still ain't shit. What if he leaves? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When he leaves, but yeah. yo, but you gonna hard launch the fact that oh my god, this baby changed my life. And yeah. if it wasn't for this baby, you might hard launch a gender reveal or like a sonogram picture. Yep, man, I'm calling you hoes out nasty right yeah. now, right? So then you, so then you, so then that's that's how it happens, right? And then every now and then you might get a a, a good love story where like man then you get a official hard launch because it's a wedding or Bro, this the, and that. Like, i would literally like if i were to have to hard launch somebody i'm deleting social media what That's the fuck what I do i need said. social media for like why would i need the hoes to see me looking the way i want to look you see if i saying? have a man's now like i don't need it why, y'all need, why do i need y'all approval exactly you see what it's I'm saying? It's all about validation. See, I dissected, like, the, I dissected truly, all the whole thing right there. One thousand percent, because one hundred percent. First of all, like I don't even think. But guys know that as a guy, as a guy, there's Damn. there's two options. If you see a girl that doesn't take her Instagram seriously and this and that, but she's still pretty, be suspicious at the beginning. What's going on? Mm. Let me see your finsta. <laughs> figure out a way to get to the finsta. You know what I mean? Figure out a way to like Oh, cause that perceive. one's popping. Fe- that fe- one's fe- popping. Fe- figure bro. out a way to perceive the like, just off a glance, just. Yeah. <laughs> I was not looking through your phone. I just happened to see that it was, <laughs> that, it, that, it, that it was, that it, you know, when, when, whenever you were, you had it in front of me or whatever, right? Uh, figure out a way to get to the finsta, figure out a way to do all that shit, right? So she, she trying to cleanse her finsta right now. I'm not trying to. <laughs> 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 Listen, you know what I'm saying. So then, if you get if you get a girl that doesn't take her Instagram seriously, then you're like, yo, you be suspicious, but scope it out because some girls out here really don't give a fuck about that kind of shit. And some people out there be like, yo, and those those girls, hey, you could take her on a traditional date. She won't care. She might be giddy. She tell her friends. She might landline call somebody. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? She might get a she she might get an AOL messenger. Damn. <laughs> Right, and then uh, she might yeah. she might go and like you know and, and 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 tell her friends you know and you might and it might end up being good. But the good thing about that girl is that it, should you ever should it ever become official official, you don't even gotta post on social media. You yeah. just gotta do it. Y'all end up getting she married, be, she be gotta, and nobody knows. She nobody knows anything. Y'all really living no. in the future, but in the past at the same time. And nah. the the other option, the other option is that a guy may be like, bro, I know that she's out here for the streets right now, but I have hope. That I'm playing if I play game. my cards right, <laughs> we play I'm a, a long I'm, game. I'm gonna be the reason she deletes all that shit. Y'all really be thinking that? I don't know. Men not be me, thinking but. that. <laughs> <laughs> not, not me, me but, but I'm just but I'm just saying, like, you know, <laughs> it could be a couple a couple a guy that may be like, man, I'm really trying to be, I'm trying to like figure this out. You know what I mean? So, needless to say, look, and that's not even the reason I'm gonna I'll go into I'll bring it into a real world example. The reason why the hard launch is so crazy sometimes and why people are like really reluctant to pull the trigger on the hard launch is because people can tell what a hard launch is. Oh yeah. And when and if you do the soft launch, it's always the the schemers in the back that are like waiting, like <laughs> we'll see. Why you look like we'll that? We'll see. We'll see. Cause that's how the schemers are. <laughs> they be <laughs> Girl, I'm just waiting, and then you pull the trigger on the hard launch, and then all the craziness come out. Why? It's not a coincidence that after you hard launch somebody, that's when you get the girl that are like, "So y'all are together?" Well, f- woman to woman, let me tell you about something that has been bugging me or whatever. Blah blah blah. This and that. It's no secret because people can tell when the hard launch is. Yeah, you know what I mean. That's when you get the like. Do you? So so when did you guys start dating? Right? And uh, then you yeah, might, yeah, 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 yeah. You see yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. You see so yeah. like, hey, question. So you know Junior? Yeah, that's my boyfriend. Um, just out of curiosity, when did you guys start? Like, what year? Blah blah, blah this and that. And then you get, and then you, and you reading that like, hijo de tu pinche madre. What didn't you tell <laughs> what me? Did you tell Who me? is this? Blah blah blah. This and that. Like, and what start, is this bitch about to tell me? And you're right, right? Because you already hard launched it. And now you, now you got it. Now you got it. Now you, now there's no coincidence why a lot of those things start happening. And then, and then you get the girls that have been scheming that are like, just wait, 
Just wait. I'm just waiting. I'm going to ruin it. I'm going to ruin it because, uh, <laughs> I'm a, because I got the info. I, I got the receipts. Just because you deleted your shit don't mean I deleted mine. Yeah. And, 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 and you might think that he's, now he's your main star, but he was one of my, 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 my benches. My benches. <laughs> he was, a, he was <laughs> on the sidelines for like a good minute. I redshirted that dude for a good minute because he, 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 he didn't have the funds to take me to State yeah, 48 one time. But he was time. still there. He was, <laughs> he was still in them DMs. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? He said, but let me tell you about all these hearts, all, all these likes that I got whenever I, I did leg day that one day. You see what I'm saying? So it's no coincidence. Case in point, prime example, my boy Zion Williamson. You know who Zion Williamson is? I don't. Basketball player, Pelicans. I'm about to put y'all on game right now. Basketball player, first draft, Pelicans was supposed to be the next LeBron James has been Quarreled with injuries all over his body, having hasn't been able to have this season that everybody's been hoping for. He's got a contract rookie year, about nine figures, at least a hundred million dollars. This man is worth. Hasn't God. played a game of basketball yet. God damn. New Orleans. Think about where New Orleans is. Think about Alejandro. Just you use your imagination, Marcela. You know this, right? Think about we in the South. In the South, right? You a twenty-two year old man. You got you worth you have a hundred million dollars in your bank account or close to it's coming, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. But you don't got nothing to do. You got the best food. It's New Orleans, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Mm. And you got Southern girls. It's I was about to say it's also New Orleans, <laughs> bruh. So this man hard launched the, his, his 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 relationship and a baby and a pregnancy. And after the hard launch, guess who comes out the woodwork? Guess. Side Give me a hoe. number. One side hoe. And a- two side hoes. Three side hoes. Two of them porn stars. Stop. You Dude. see what I'm saying? Damn, bro. You see what I'm saying? This is why you got to keep your shit on a deal. And he did. All the he time. had it on a deal. But they had receipts. You can't expect a 22-year-old man with that kind of money to be forward thinking about all this stuff. All he knows is that for, yeah, for, from 15 money. years old all the way until he got drafted, he was on Pornhub trying to, you know, clicking on the stuff that he likes to click. And then all of a sudden, that girl is DMing him. And what? I'm going to turn that down? Yep. I'm 22 years old. I got nine figures. I'm God right now. Yep. I, I could do no wrong. Right? Man, he's got DMs on there that we're talking about. I'll pull them up. So that you know, oh, there's, there's, there's the- I don't know how dating used to be before because like, dating was great before for like y'all's generation. <laughs> like I don't great. know if, for fantastic. y'all's generation, but like this generation dating because I was never dating when I was like out of my high school years. Like I didn't date around that time. I was right. with somebody. So like now, as a middle like mid twenty year old person dating the idea of it all is like really weird because it's like okay so you're talking what you do before like what do you do do you become friends and then you start talking and then you start becoming like you start dating and then does dating mean that you're like boyfriend and girlfriend or does that mean that you in a relationship or like does dating mean you're taking me out on dates so and let, then let me and then you asked me to be a girlfriend for and then me, we in a relationship. For me, I feel like I was born in the best the best two year time period. I do agree be, because I feel like I got the best of both worlds. I know I'll explain to you what it used to be or what it what or or, or, or what it was or whatever. But I got the best of both worlds. I got the digital revolution mm-hmm. and the internet revolution plus like all of the all the nuances from before. I was old enough to be able to experience some of the nuances from before. So I remember having to go court a girl having yeah. to go tell a girl hey i like you in person yeah. eyes to eyes i like you and the fear that struck you whenever <laughs> like she was like oh crap and it's like this is not the the reaction that i thought that yeah, was like, gonna happen not, right not the like, yeah the, the, i remember that right there's a there's a big value to that i also know what it's like to slide into somebody's dms mm-hmm. and 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 how much of a non- yeah. Non, it's it's like non-confrontational. There's not there's there's not a lot of loss. If you tell me no, like it's okay, whatever. Nobody saw, like whatever, blah blah blah. And then we just, I just keep my day moving. Yeah, you know what I mean. So I got the best of both worlds. I'll explain to you why I think it's the best. Uh, but what it used to be is, damn, that girl over there is really pretty. We around each other, class, 
group of friends, yeah. outings, same club, same whatever, same 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 social destinations. Damn, who's that girl? Man, that's that's awesome. Hey, bro, she looking at you when you looking at her. Oh, word. Like, hey, what's up? How's it going? Hey, my name is blah blah blah. My name is Juan. I, you know, you know, yeah, who, yeah, yeah. Who, whose friend are you? Blah blah blah. Oh, blah, 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 blah. okay, cool. Hey, let me get your numbers. Can I get your numbers? Yeah, sure. You can get my number. Hey, maybe I send a text, blah, blah, blah. Maybe it starts to turn into something else. Okay, so let's go get some coffee. Hey, so so what do you do? We're still not dating yet. All of these is not considered dating yet. You're courting. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, none of this is a date yet. Mm -hmm. but, but, oh, that's great. Fantastic. You might not even get the coffee. You might know that y'all are going to be around each other some more. When you see, when you see, mm. when, hey, boom, hey, this reminded me of you because cause, cause you said you like Jagged Edge, so... And, you know, this yeah. reminded me, I heard this song, blah, 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 oh, that's my favorite. Oh, yeah, 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 it's in passing or whatever, blah, blah, oh, okay, hope you have a good day at work, blah, blah, blah. Still nothing, right? It's just in little yeah, yeah, yeah. things here and there. We'll see each other again at the pool party. Hey, blah, blah, hey, how's it going? Hey, so, you know, how was your week? Blah, blah, no, everything's good. I'm like, oh, you won't believe. Look at what this dude is doing. This dude is crazy, but he's drunk, right? Yeah. And then you start bonding a little bit more. Hey, would you, maybe you want to, crazy, but would you be up to, for, you know, getting some dinner one day? Yeah, sure. Let let's do it. We go. I'll pick you up around seven, eight. Cool, right? We'll go pick you up. Hey, thank you. Bye bye. Oh my god, I had a I had a crazy I had a crazy day today. It was insane. Work was crazy. I'm just so glad to be done with my week. Oh, don't worry about that. Like, don't even think about it. We'll just go. We'll get distracted. We'll go. I know a place. We'll make some great margaritas. Boom, right? You go. You have a great a great dinner. Laugh. Everything's fantastic. Great, great time. Hey, you want to go to you want to go to a bar? You want to go take a walk? Whatever, blah, blah blah. Whatever happens after that is whatever. Still not a date. Still not a date. Okay. You're still not dating. Okay. After that point, you're at a crossroads. You're at a fork in the road. Both of you, both of us, are at a fork in the road. Mm. I got to decide: Do I like this woman still? Right. Mm -hmm. And as a guy, that's where we can either go two directions. We can either go like, yo, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it 100 mm -hmm. and I'm going to and I'm going to do I'm going to do right by it or I'm going to go fuck boy. And I'm going to and I'm going to try to just get it in. And, yeah. the, and you don't say what I got to say to get it in. Mm -hmm. Right. And then and then and then bye. Right. And then ghost you. Right. And the girl has is at a crossroads, too. Is that a fork in the road? Damn. Do I like this guy? Do I want to say yes to him again? Do I. Right. Or am I not feeling chemistry? Am I not feeling the spark? Am I curious? Is mm -hmm. there still some mystery there? I don't know. I don't know. I yeah, don't know. Yeah, yeah. But after this fork in the road, there has to be a conversation. And not, it doesn't even have to be a deep conversation. It might be implied in a lot of the conversations that you have. Maybe you'll keep texting. Maybe you'll keep, think, you know, this and that. Hey, it could be as simple as simple and smooth as a, on a guy's perspective. At least this is what, what I used to do. Hey, so when am I going to see you again? Mm. That's not, I want to see you again. That's not, hey, I hope we can see each other mm. again. That's a direct, but throwing the ball in your court. Hey, so when, when am I going to see you again? Mm -hmm. And then the girl's like, oh, well, yeah, well, I'm free, but this time well, maybe we could do this. And, oh, okay. So then you hold her to it. If she says next Friday, if she says this, if she says that, then I'll hold you to it. That's a good gauge right there at, uh, off top. For you to be like, if she's like, oh, well, I don't know, I'm really busy, I'm gonna be out of town, this and that. It's like, no problem. How about you just text me whenever you want to hang out with me, and then you can walk away from that from that situation knowing she ain't gonna call you back. Mm. She she's not interested. The vibe wasn't right. The chemistry wasn't good. You got to start moving on in your head, right? Or she could be like, actually, I'm free Sunday. It's two days away. Oh, great. I don't got nothing to do she Sunday. Really interested. Yeah, in that and case. then you got to go in your calendar and cancel whatever the fuck is happening yeah. on Sunday, right? And and then you can go from there, right? But after you get to, after you get to like the, so when am I going to see you again? Mm -hmm. Now, one of you's, it, it, it doesn't really matter who, right? Traditionally, it might be a guy, but one of you has to make the decision to say something that implies I like hanging out with you for you. Mm. Not, hey, this was a great time. That's not enough. You got to be like, I, I'll do the guy, you know, guy's perspective mm -hmm. and then I could, I, could, I could tell you what some other girls, so some girls have said in general, right? The guy's perspective could, could be like, hey, the next Sunday cut comes around, we're at a hookah bar, whatever, mm -hmm. and we're just like, we get a soft moment. The, yeah. The, yeah. The, the, the room isn't too loud. The, and then you, hey, uh, so I've had a really great time with you. Really great time. I, 
I don't know if it's just me. I'm throwing myself out there, but I kind of really want to. I, I feel a spark. I feel mm. I feel I feel some chemistry here. I really like you. I I'd like to see where this goes. No pressure. It doesn't have to be serious. But I just want to let you know, I yeah, I'm really fucking with you. At that point, you've already let it known that you you are you've been interpreting all of your all of your interactions as more than as more than, more than as, just, as yeah. more than just what they like ca- ca- casually right. Mm-hmm. Still not dating. You're still not dating yet. Yeah. She will then say. No. Or she'll be like, you know what? I've had a great time too. I was really surprised. Blah, blah, blah. This and that. Blah, mm. blah. And then at that point, it's my responsibility as a guy to be like, well, great. So why don't I, why don't I take you on a date? At okay. that point, we go on our first date. Mm. We've been vibing each other out. Mm. Yeah, so just playing. We, scene, yeah, we've just been see. vibing each other out. Nothing's been serious. All of the interactions that we've had before. If a girl saw me in that interaction, I have all the right to say like, "That's not my girlfriend." We have we we weren't mm-hmm. dating. If a guy saw her in that interaction, they, they could have been thing. like, "Yeah, no, that's not my boyfriend. We're just friends." Mm-hmm. And it would have been whole true. If we were at a bar and it was crazy and some guy tried to hit on her, she could have been like, "No, that's my friend," mm-hmm. and I can't get mad. It's yeah, not yeah. a date. Yeah, because you know date. what I mean. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. However, it might it might let me depending on her reaction to that guy and what and you know what I mean. It might. It might me, your, it might either it might yeah. move me in a certain direction. It might be like, bro, you she was really into that guy. I could tell I'm not gonna fuck with her no more. Yeah. Or or if a girl tries to mess with me or you know flirt with me, if I'm like, hey girl, what the fuck? And then all of a sudden I'm like, oh, anyway, like so that, then she oh. has all the right to be like, no, like in front yeah. of me. I know we're not dating right now, but like, pero come on, like quieren. decency, right, manners, right. But all of those interactions beforehand weren't weren't dates. Yeah. Now all of a sudden we've I've, you've actually said the guy has said the girl has said yeah. So now from that point on, now you're in the talking stage. Now you're in the stage where like no, we're talking. Now I'm asking okay. you more important questions. Now I'm asking you who your mom is. Now I'm asking you you know some experiences you had as a kid. Where'd you go to school? Why did you move to Houston? Mm. You know you know why that degree? Why you know what are, what are your dreams? Oh, I'm in school. I'm mechanical engineering. Oh, what do you plan to do after school? Now you're starting to get into some like conversations that are more, a little bit like second yeah. layer underneath that have to do a little bit more about your personality, this and that, blah blah yes. blah. You know, months go by, month, two months, three months, four. Four months go by now you're talking about that puppy that died that so dog what's that like died an acceptable time or what was an acceptable time to like then ask the person out like be there it could be the, it could be like that is that varies it could have been the first day that you guys went out the chemistry was just so right and you've been really into this girl I, there's been you know there's been times where i'm like look i'm gonna be honest with you i like you i've been crushing on you for a minute mm. you know and then you could go that way. Or it could be like you feel it out. It could be mm. like, oh, man, I don't know. I kind of get, I thought it was yes, but now I'm like here. Blah, blah, blah. I'll try it another time and see what happens. Oh, I don't know. I don't, you know? So it, it could be immediately or it could be. Do you think, do you, because we're talking about relationships, do you think, because I've, I've been seeing this a lot on like social media, is like uh, the right time for people. Like they're like, oh, you might be the right person, but the wrong time type of situation. Do you think that there's ever, that there can be situations where you're like, Oh, like, yeah, you vibe and you fit pretty well, but it's just not the right time. for One hundred percent. And most of my. Like, and do you think that, like, it, if you were to, I guess, if you were to like see them again at the right time, and it just so happens that both are, are available or whatever, do you think? Don't. I am asking this because, in I feel like part of my logic is, yes, I agree that yes, sometimes it's timing, but I also agree that. Like, or I also kind of can see the logic behind you still like, if you didn't choose them the first time, why would you choose them the second time? Okay. So I, I, I'll, I'll answer like this first. I'll finish off the, the yeah. like thing right now. You've been talking for a couple months and now you get to say now, eventually the next conversation is, well, you're my girlfriend. Mm-hmm. We're dating. You're my girlfriend. Blah, blah, blah. Now we're taking it to another, but it's always like actual things. Sometimes that, that time could be really short. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it could be a week, two weeks, three weeks. Chemistry's popping, right? And I'm, I, ha- I haven't even thrown sex into the mix. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. I, I'm not one where there's like, oh, you have to wait a certain time. Or whatever. Look, you guys decide however depends, you guys yeah. want to decide it, right? But that's how it used to be. I think I was born the right time because I could do both. 
Mm. If, if you start to, if, if we start to get into this thing where it's like, oh, you need to take your time, don't worry. I got you. I know yeah. what to say. I know what to expect. I know how to socially behave. I know how to, I know how to be in, the, I know how to court, right? Mm -hmm. I got you. Not a problem. Which for a lot of women that are only used to dating from the DMs, mm. the moment I, I start doing that, it's like, oh crap, this, yeah. these boys don't know how to do that. Yeah. <clears throat> So then you have up an advantage. Mm -hmm. And then I also know how to be like, you up? Yep. You know? And then that's a different, that's a whole different vibe. You got to well, that's, that's you gotta maneuver that differently. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Different. So in terms of like, do I believe right place at the wrong time or the right person, wrong time or whatever mm -hmm. it is? Uh, yeah. M like most of the, or the, the earliest girlfriends that I took seriously, like, all of them in my early 20s, there was a lot of things about them that I was like, yo, I, this is cool. Yeah. But I was in circumstances that I mentally, emotionally, maturity yeah. wise, like it was tough, tough spaces that I had to get through on my own. Mm -hmm. So it was a 100%, a 100% the wrong time. And in a lot of ways, in a lot of ways, and this is like real talk on my end as a guy's perspective, and maybe other guys won't be this vulnerable, but I don't care because I, I don't, I don't, I'm not insecure about this. I have a lot of regret for two. I have a lot of regret for two things. One, regret that it didn't work out because they were really hurt by mm -hmm. it, by it not, not um, wor uh, uh, working out. Yeah. And then two, I have a lot of regret for getting in it in the first place. For like exploring it in the first place, like I, I, I probably instead of waiting, instead, I probably should have. Like, obviously, I didn't know this at the time because I really wanted to do it, but I probably should have not done it, yeah. knowing the circumstances that I was in, instead of putting her through whatever and we waiting. went through, yeah. and then hoping that something came out on the other end, and then obviously nothing happened, yeah. and then now they're left with this sour taste in their mouths about my name, about who I am, or whatever, yeah. and that, and then more importantly, and this has happened, where, to your point, the years passed by, Maybe we see each other again. Maybe it's a text. Maybe it's this. Maybe it's that. And then we get to see where we are in our lives. And we get to immediately register in that moment. Like, God damn, had I met you in this time, if different. we had it, then it would have been completely different. However, we now have made choices. Yeah. Now I'm with somebody else. Now yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. doing this. Now I'm doing that. Maybe I've changed in this way or that way. Maybe you're committed to something else. Maybe you're committed yeah. to a different job. Maybe you're moving. Maybe you're this, right? Maybe mm -hmm. things have gotten, the circumstances have changed. Yeah. So, in a lot of ways, whenever we've we've gone back and we've talked and like just been cordial with each other, it hasn't necessarily been like, oh my god, let's rekindle this. Yeah, it's been more so like a, an affirmation of the fact that it was the wrong time mm. because it's like, oh, I'm really happy for the person that you've become. You've worked really hard. Great job. I'm proud yeah. of you. But I stood like now that a lot, uh, it, you know, everything's everything's happened the way that it's happened. Mm -hmm. I can't. I can't. And this has been on my end. Yeah. I can't outgrow some of the pain that happened before. So I've chosen not to explore. Yeah. It. Like, no, I'm, I'm going to keep you over there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or I've made this say maybe I'm with somebody or, or I'm talking to somebody. And this is not, I'm just like, sorry, I'm, I am in, I'm in this, this part not the of my moment life. Anymore. I'm in this stage yeah. of my life, this and that. But I can totally see how like other people can on some notebook shit, like other people can like come back and be like, yo, it was always you. It was mm -hmm. always like, I can see that also. I can see that also because the circumstances weren't right. And maybe the circumstances, you know, if, if you believe in fate, point. like maybe like, yeah. the, you know, it aligns or this and that or blah, blah. I'm not big on fate, but I can see how like, yeah, if the coincidence, the stars may align in a way where you're like, yeah, we can actually make this work now. And then all of a sudden it was, it was exactly what you always wanted it to be or what you thought it was going to be back then or whatever. Then. Right? Yeah, I can yeah. see that happening. How, uh, how, however, yeah. But but the, 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 the initial premise of like right person, wrong time, 100%. 100%. I even, I'll even go a step further than that. I'll go right person, wrong time, wrong circumstance. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I can see like right person, wrong time because I'm married. Mm -hmm. Right person, wrong time because i'm moving yeah right person wrong time because career right person yeah. wrong time because i get that because family yeah because i have to you know what i mean because my my pops died yeah or because this yeah. and that like i for even further than that like yeah, it's, yeah. It, it could it doesn't even have to be like oh i'm a different person now it could just be something completely yeah, arbitrary yeah. this and that and blah 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 you know what i mean 
Yeah, yeah. And so I could see it. I could I could see it one hundred percent. How because it, again, and this is this is where I go. This is how kind of like my philosophy on relationships in general. Relationships are all choices. Mm-hmm. They're all those are all choices that you made. Compatibilities yeah. is 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 fixed. Chemistry is fixed, right? Who I am as a person, who you are as a person, who you are as a person. That that is fixed. That yeah. that or relatively fixed. Like you work on yourself, you do what you got to do. You have, have you have a, an amalgamation of all your experiences. So you are going to behave the way you want to behave. Yeah. You're compatible with people who you are already compatible with. You have chemistry with who, and that's a lot of people. Yeah. To act like it's not a lot of people is ridiculous. Yeah. There's a there's attractive people everywhere. There's people that find you attractive. Everywhere. everywhere there's people that you find attractive and it's multiple people yeah right however relationships are choices if i went up to you say it's x y and z right if i go up to you and we're vibing and we have and, and now we've made choices and i've made myself committed to you and time has passed by it doesn't mean that i'm not attracted to other people yeah it doesn't mean that other people aren't attracted to me it just means that i've made a conscious choice to say okay i'm That's choosing you i'm choosing I'm you i'm choosing you, you i'm choosing you i'm choosing you i'm choosing you i'm choosing you and there is a chance a, a relatively high chance if you even want to think about it that some Somebody else might come along and it might be exciting. It might be fun. It might be even more compatible. It might be even more chemistry. Yeah. It might be even more exciting. It might be adventurous. It might be all, all of these things that for a, 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 any other person, right, if you didn't have a circumstance, might be like, this is perfect. Yeah. Right. However, what it doesn't have is is muscle memory. You mm-hmm. don't have with that new person, you don't have that the memory of the person whenever your grandma died and yeah. they were there with you yeah. going through it. You don't have the person of when you were struggling with trying to pay your bills and they held you down, Yeah, right? You don't have the memory of like- Yeah, lots of things. You, you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like all of those things. And that's what I feel, that's, the, that, that's kind of what I feel is- is the real difference between when you're in a relationship and when you're not a relationship. I keep choosing you and I have to be honest and vocal with you that yes, there are people that I might be attracted to and there and I'm out here, I'm outside going yeah. into all these situations, meeting new people, networking in my job and career and you're doing the exact same thing. Mm-hmm. So to act like there's not going to be another guy that might like flirt with you or this and that and it might not like spark up like bro, I'm really getting along with this person and yeah. vice versa is absurd. I take that into account. However, for me, I'm going to make a choice consciously to be like, but that's not the person that helped me down. I don't even know if they would do that. So for me, I'm going to, I'm going to choose the other person, even though this might be more chemistry, even though it might, even though it might be right place or right person, wrong Wrong time. time, even though it might be that because I, because I've already got rapport. I've already got like, Mm. I've already got a history of like decisions that I've made and then how you've backed up those decisions. And to me, that makes a lot, that, 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 that means a lot to me. I think that the currency of love, specifically love where people think it's like this fluttery feeling or this, this and that, like, Mm. no, 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 that's infatuation. The beginning of your relationship where you're like, man, I can't get enough of you. I want to see you all the time. Kiss me, kiss me, kiss me, kiss me, kiss me. Like that's infatuation for me. And in my experience, Hopefully that lasts a long time because it's a great feeling. Mm-hmm. But in my experience, that's not that's not love. The, yeah. the, the currency for infatuation is just presence. Yeah. It's excitement and presence. Yep. And you just got to be there and you, and you just got to and it has to be an exciting moment. Right. It has to be liberating. It has to feel liberating. Yeah. The currency of love are memories. The currency of love are the choices that you've made attached to the memories that you have. That's yeah. what keeps a relationship going Afloat. farther, yeah. longer, whatever, despite the fact that I know that you have a a friend or an acquaintance that like you really vibed with. Yeah. But thank you for not choosing to explore that because of the rapport that we have. Because yeah. you choose because we have put into our little piggy bank a lot of all currency, of a lot of memories of yeah. and a lot of decisions that gravitate towards that, that meet that mean a lot to each other. And that's why you're, it, despite the fact that it may be a hell of chemistry over there, this is much more significant because this was, a, this is a bigger investment. Also why if you even, if you make it further, let's say it's a 10 year, 15 year, 20 year thing. And there's a lot of memories there. It may over overflow eventually. And then you end up getting with those, you, you end up getting what I call happy divorces. You, you end up getting with those people that are like, look, 
I feel like we've, I've, we're both on the same page here. We've explored everything that we needed to explore out of this. Yeah. So now I kind of feel like we need to go our separate ways. And and you you you've seen them. It's not this like tragic thing. It's like. Yeah, we're walking away because we're walking away. Yeah, right. Like it's not a big yeah, deal. Yeah, think yeah. about uh, think about how I met your mother, Ted's Ted's mom and dad. Yeah, how they were like, yeah, we just like one day we just realized like, yeah, it's not, yeah, it's it not a big deal. Yeah. Love her though. Yeah, fucking that's yeah, that's baby girl. But like, yeah, ah, yeah. it's not. We're not there no more, right? Yeah. And she and the and, and home girl finds Clint and she's like the happiest that she's ever been and he's all like, bro, like stringing a beard, like I'm, yeah. you know what I mean? And I guess how I met your mother is. The epitome of like right person, wrong time. Oh, one hundred percent. All the time. Yeah, like yeah, the yeah. entirety of of how yeah. I met your mother is right person. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ba ba and, Barney Robin is that. Think, Ted Robin is that. And I think yeah, and I think that that I don't know. I guess I never thought about it that way, but I have thought about it that way in the sense that like you can have a lot of right people in a lot of wrong times and a lot of. Well, because like Robin, I guess, goes to prove that she could like she was the right person. Right. For multiple people. And these people were the right people for her at one point or another. But then like other circumstances came in the way and like stopped it or whatever it may be. Um, I don't know. I just thought about that because it's like ultimately I feel as though there is. I don't know, because I've seen situations where I'm just like where I see people really vibing. I've never experienced, first of all, I've never experienced the whole dating trajectory that you've mentioned before. Like I've never had that happen to me. Like because, traditional dating? Yeah. Or like, like where you're being dating, dating in general. Like I've never really had that. Like mm. I've, I've had like super, I've, I've done the casual thing, but like I came out of a long, like of a long relationship where I, it's not what happened because we were in high school. You know what I mean? You don't, it's not the same thing like meeting in high school and dating in high school and, and, mm -hmm. and like bringing that into your adult life. But like, I've never had the whole like, let me take you out and do this or like, let's yeah. do this and whatever. Or like, I like you, let's whatever. Like, I've literally never had that. But I also have never had like, cause this is kind of like a totally separate thing, but no, I'm not necessarily a separate thing, but I've never had like, relationships with men that weren't necessarily about like courting. sex or, or oh, like, okay, or okay. about, or about like courting like, or dating yeah, yeah. or anything. I've never had, like I have never had like a legit man friend, like a, a male friend that I was like, Oh yeah, you're like a friend. Like somebody is just like a platonic friend. Yeah. I understand the whole, like, do you wait? You've never had a, a, a friend, a friend. That's a guy. That's just a friend. Is that what you're saying? Or, you, yeah. or, or, or you're saying you've never had a boyfriend that you also consider a friend? No, I, I don't think I've had a boyfriend that I considered a friend. I I think personally, I but think... But like those are two different things. Like, yeah, well, that's one. But like I've never had a platonic male friend. Like I, at least... Like a best friend. Like how me and Juliet are. Yeah. You've like, never had that. I've never had that. Like I've never had like a man, like a, like a male friend that I'm like, oh yeah, that's like my best friend. Because... As much as I can get along with male, male men or whatever, um, because of my likes or dislikes or whatever, because I have a lot of tendencies to like things that like men like yeah, as well. Yeah. Um, I, it's always come down to, oh, I find you attractive, by the way. So on and so forth. You say that to them. Them to me. Oh, them to you. Them to me. And, and yeah, sometimes I'll find them attractive too. A lot of the times I don't find them attractive. Sometimes I'll find them attractive and like whatever. But all their... Uh, Outside of that, like, I'm aware that a lot of the times me being a, like a pretty girl means that most men are not going to want to be my friend. They're going to want something. You know what I mean? It's like, and I get that. And it's like, fine or whatever. But like, so that goes to, sh like, to show, like, I've never really experienced that before. Yeah. But on that note, like, I've seen people, again, because this has never really happened to me, but like, I've seen people or like situations where they're like, let's say like, uh, a per like some, a guy is talking to a girl and they'll they'll be talking to this girl right but they never do anything about it they're just talking to this person then somebody else comes along maybe an old person or whatever and they they pick that person right yeah stuff happens that person doesn't work out they're talking back to the person again yeah to the same person girl number one yeah to me in my mind as a as a girl i cannot understand 
or I don't think I don't think that it's possible for a guy to choose a girl the second time if they didn't choose them the first time and and use the excuse of like, oh, right person, wrong time. It's oh, okay. like I would feel more along the lines of like, I think a guy would know like nah I would know if I like you from the jump, especially if we spent some time talking it, with the intent of potentially dating. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? From, from a guy's perspective, the only thing I can say to that is I can think of uh, scenarios where I might choose, I might like somebody and may, and not choose to be with them because of circumstances or because of the, like, I'll give an example. Uh, there, and, and you know, everybody that I've dated. Yeah. Right. But, there's been situ you you there's been girlfriends that I've had that you've met that I've broken up with because I wasn't ready. Yeah, I know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And people are like, "Well, why don't you go back to that person?" And I'm like, I, "I'm a different person now. Mm -hmm. It's a different thing. I did like her, mm -hmm. but I I couldn't. But, I was not at the right at the yeah. right place. I and 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 it sound it sounds like a cheesy bullshit thing to say." Mm. However, it's true when guys use these kinds of things and they use it as an excuse to not be with you so they can come back and fuck with you and mm -hmm. play with you. Then that's a that's a, that's a just, horrible that's human just, being. Yeah. That's a fuck boy. You don't got to listen. Like, yeah. That's different. That's different. But yeah. if I tell you and I have I've said this to I could think of one person. I, if, if I say, hey. This is what you deserve. I can see it. I can I can literally see it. This th When I'm around you, this is the person that I know I need to be. Mm -hmm. However. I am not at a point right now where I'm remotely close to that human being. Yeah. And this is making, I'm, I'm not ready. This mm -hmm. is making me so insecure and so anxiety driven that I feel like I have to become this person because I know that if I don't, you will leave me. Mm. That might be an extreme case of paranoia. I've said this before, but that may be an extreme case of like, oh my God, I'm overthinking this. Yeah. She's going to hear this information and she's going to say, I would never do that. Yeah. I like you for who you are, yeah. thick and thin, blah, 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 this and that. However... However, I don't want to roll the dice mm. and hope that me being here is I'm going to turn into that person because eventually down the road, decade, two decades, whatever, you're going to look back to this moment and it's going to be a pivotal moment. You could have left and mm. you could have had a different life. And instead, you rolled the dice with me, and you may end up being happy, but you also maybe end up, end up being, you know, really, yeah. you know, really Resentful miserable or whatever. Right, yeah. right, right. Mm. Now, since then, me and I'm friends with a lot of my exes. Mm -hmm. So, like, I know, I, yeah, you yeah. know, we've talked and we've talked about that specific thing. I, I say, like, now I'm the person that probably you could have, like, I'm like yeah, I, yeah. Could, I could, I could sustain this now. Yeah. I feel like I'm much better off now. I feel like I do this and this. However, but you're a different person now. I'm a yeah. different person. Mm -hmm. You're a different person too. Yeah. And it's tragic. But during that entire time, dur during that entire time, I didn't go back. I didn't go back and was like trying to play with you like, oh, yeah. but I miss you or oh, but I don't. Nah, bro. I made a decision. Yeah. And I'm not going back on that decision. I'm not going back and saying like, hey, but do you want to have maybe just one last time or like maybe yeah. this or maybe that? No, none of that. Like, no, I know that you're grieving. You got to finish that. Yeah. I'm not going to go in here and confuse mm -hmm. you. And I specifically said that. I said, I, I See, didn't want to go in and, there and, and confuse you. I Whenever think, we became friends again, you were done, yeah. you know, grieving. I was done gr gr grieving and we were able to talk mutually without any anger, yeah. without any of this, without any of that. You, you actually told me, I think that they actually told me, I thank you so much that yeah. you actually did what you did because I was able to process it. Yeah. I was able to do it. And I realized what you meant. And I realized that you were about what you, uh, mm -hmm. about what you said. Had you come back, and been like, but hey, but I'm having yeah. second thoughts or this and that, blah, 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 this and that. I probably would have gone back with you, but I would have been hella confused. And, yeah. would, and it, it probably it would have been worse. Out. It, it would have been, been worse. worse. Right? I also yeah. think on that end, like, I think, uh, and I think this is like a critique of mine on like, just because it made me think of it. I think there's a, a really big critique of mine on the, this generation and, and their inability to understand when people are saying what they're saying and that they mean it. Like, Right. Well, because there's a lot of people that say it, but the, then they act differently. Yeah. And I and I do, I feel like a lot of it is like, one, like, if you're going to say something, then act like it. You know what I mean? Like, if you're going to say, bro, I'm about this, this, and this. Then be about Then it. be about this, this, and this. Yeah. And also, I feel like it, it, it's, but I see it a lot with, like, girls in my generation and girls in my, like, age group that these men are telling them, I am not ready for so, so, and so. And in their mind, that somehow formulates to, 
oh, you're not ready for it right now. But like, if I spend enough time with you, if I talk to you enough, you I'll might be convince ready. you. I'll just be around till you're ready. I'm going to be around to convince you otherwise. And to me, it baffles me that people, one, that bitches think this way. It's like, first of all, girl, he's literally saying no. He's telling you no. Yeah. He's telling you no, it's not going to be you. Because let me tell you right now, cuando fulanita de tal pops up out here and he is enamored with this woman, yeah. it's going to happen because it's going to happen. Yeah. And you're going to be left there looking the, like boo boo the fool. Yeah, yeah. And you're just going to be like, what the fuck? And it's just because at the end of the day, you got to listen to when people are telling you what they're saying. Yeah. Because more often than not, people are not going to be and, lying to you. And, and if you are somebody who... Whether whatever sex or whatever or gender, or whatever you are, if you are saying something to somebody and they are not receiving it correctly, walk away from that. If you are hearing somebody say something to you and then they're acting differently, you need to walk away from that 100%. just as much because there's two things happening there. You are proving to them if you allow them to keep acting that way while also telling you. I'm sorry, I'm not ready for that, but I'm still going to treat you. I'm still going I'm going to keep you around cuz I want the girlfriend treatment cuz I want the attention, but I don't want to be your boyfriend. Right. You know what I mean? You right. got to you got to choose one to two things. You either got to choose to walk away from it and say, "You know what, sweetie? Okay, well then let me know when you're ready." And then if I'm ready whenever you are and if I'm available, then we'll we'll talk then. Right? Yeah. Or you're 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 giving them the in and you're confusing yourself. You're going to start complaining about, oh, my God, I just don't know, blah, right, blah, blah. Right, it's right. just like, girl, man, whoever, get it get it through your head that these people are not going to be giving you what you think that you want. Right. Well, and to, to, and, and to that point, the other side of that coin is I see a lot of posts, a lot of things online where women are like, if I hear another guy saying he's emotionally unavailable, like, oh, he was this and that, and they're like rolling their eyes, and then they'll say something like, it's not my job. To, to, to make to help a man grow up and my point to that is yeah 100% is not your job mm -hmm. it's not your job to do that it's not your job to do that however if you if you talk about that if you talk about those men that are not ready mm -hmm. if if the scenario is that he just wants that he's emotionally immature and he just wants to play with you and he just wants sex or he just wants this or he just wants that or whatever mm -hmm. right then he's definitely not ready yeah. Right. But if he actually isn't ready and is trying to work on himself, then that's not a good enough reason either for you to shame that. Yeah. If you're going to say, oh, my God, if I have another man, like sometimes people aren't ready. Sometimes people I aren't agree. emotionally ready. I agree. And you have to understand that. You have to accept that and you have to walk away from that because it works both ways. Also, Many times women aren't emotionally ready. I, either. I also feel like you have to be honest with yourself about whether or not you're ready for it, too. Because, yeah. Like, a lot a of times lot women of are not emotionally ready for it. Exactly. So a lot of the times to me, I think there's more. I, I personally find it more valuable to hear somebody say, hey, I'm not ready for this because I need to prepare myself however right. you feel like you. Whenever people think there is always something that people are preparing for whenever they say that they're not ready for something. Right. Like you. You said, I am not ready for this with so-and-so or with all of them or whoever because I need to achieve at least this yeah. the minute that i achieve that then my mind is no longer preoccupied with everything that i needed to do to achieve that thus i am going to be a little bit more emotionally available for you yeah same same way for me right to me at the moment i'm like look i am not available to give you this and this treatment because i'm just not and yeah. i don't want to give it to you it, and it could be that too it could be i don't want to give it to you it could be i don't want to yeah. give anybody that yeah. i might be I might have all the time in the world. If I don't want to give it to you, I'm not going to give it to anybody. You right. know what I mean? Like, that's just that's just what it is. But I think at the end of the day, whenever you you establish these like boundaries and say these things like. Like people just need to listen. And whenever whenever people say, oh, I'm not I'm not I'm not responsible to help you like grow up or become emotionally available. You are 100 percent right. You don't need to be there helping these people become emotionally available yeah. but what you also need to not do is like you said shame them for admitting hey yo i'm not ready for this right. i'm not ready for this i'm not ready for you i don't want this i don't want you right now don't be angry at people for telling you the truth because right. at the end of the day again most people are not gonna lie to you about whether yeah. or not they want to be in a relationship and this like is they're gonna tell you the facts and whether you choose to listen or not i find it more respectable I think if I was in a situation that I told a man 
that I got along with or that I was like vibing with or whatever. And I honestly wholeheartedly said, like, I really like you, but I'm not ready for this. If that man respected that and said, you know what? I am, but I'm not, but I'm, I'm not, not going to push it, but I'm not going to push it. So, you know, I'll still be here in your corner, but if you Regrettably, know, whatever, I'm going to go do my life, but over I'm going to go you. do my life and I'm going to keep doing what I got to do. Um, whenever, if you are ever ready, let me know, whatever, and if we'll I'm still goes, in your yeah. mind or whatever, we'll figure it out as it goes. Right. I, re- I find that way more admirable, way more respectable. And I, w- I would see that person in a much, much better light. And I would 100% keep that person on the back of my head of like, I'm going straight to you. I'm beelining straight to you the minute that I get my house. To, <laughs> like the that, minute that, that I get my whatever. To you that, know that what point, I, mean? I was going to give some advice. I'm, I'm no one to give advice to, to men. But if you're going to listen to me for some reason, to your point earlier about like, say what you will, say what you're going to do and then do it. Exactly. Right? Do, yeah. do, do what you're about. Say what you're about and then do it. Right. In my experience. Whenever I I act that way, whenever I say, hey, this is what I'm going to do. End of story. Yeah. I'm going to act like and I'm going to make those decisions. I have found that that's when women do a lot to try to come back with me. Yeah. Because then they realize like this is somebody that says what they mean. Yeah. Means what they say and then does it. And to 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 anybody, not just women, to anybody, but in this case for me, it's been women. They register that and they're like, if he does this with his own personal life, then he will do this with our life. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely, yeah. And I want that because that is behavior that I can respect. Yeah. That is behavior that I know what to expect from you can I know rely on that it. I know that we're not going to shy away from tough conversations. Absolutely. I'm no I know that I'm never going to be in the dark about yeah. certain things, right? And I know that even if it's uncomfortable, he's going to make some decisions and mm-hmm. he's going to be about that life. Yeah. Right? In my experience, that is a much that's been a lot that's probably been the catalyst a lot for a lot of you know my ex-girlfriends still being friends of mine. Not because we still like each other or anything yeah, like yeah. that. It's never been like that afterwards, but it's been like, I respect you. Because, yeah, I because respect, you didn't lie. I respect what you said. Yeah, I respect what you did. I might have been mad at you. I might have been hella mad or hella hurt. At first. At first. Yeah. But, but. In the grand scheme in, in of things. In the grand scheme of things, months later, you years were, later. You were not lying. I realized like this man said what he was going to yeah. say. Did what he was going to do. And never beat it around the bush. Yeah. Always was always direct. Even if I was uncomfortable, even if I thought that was a shitty thing to do, even if I thought that was a shitty thing to say, he said it, he did it. He yeah. didn't, he didn't apologize for it. And now as friends, they're like, no, I know that that man is, is it's about his word. It is about his word. You know yeah. what I mean? And it's even been like ambiguous things. Like I, I acted that way. Even whenever it was like casual, mm-hmm. I would tell girls that I was casual with, like, I only want this. Yeah. If you act like it's more, I will leave you. Yep. I will leave from this situation. Yep. And when it happens, they're like, oh my God, right? Because in their minds, they're like, oh no, like guys only want sex. And like, you know what I mean? Like he yeah. says that, but like, you know no, what I mean? I if, agree. If, 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 I, if, if, if I just tell him like, oh no, if I just send him a message, just like, hey, I want to fuck or this and that, he's not going to say no. And when I said no, they're like, holy fucking yeah. crap. I'm See, like, no, I don't want that. What? Because, because what, what you think that you think that's the, com- like, I told you that, that, I told you that this is what I wanted, but. That's not the end all be all for yeah. me. If I don't if I don't get that today, I'm not gonna be upset. I'm not gonna be like, oh whoa, it's me. I didn't get to do it. Yeah. No, fuck all that. Like, right? I, and I then think- and then I make it a point, like, no. Yeah. And whenever I do that, they're like, holy shit. Then they end up, even the even the casuals are like, mm-hmm. oh, so when? So like well, this and that. And I was like, no, I already you already you already crossed the line. Yeah. We I already told you that I wasn't gonna do that. Yeah. So that's that's where that stops. And now. I I think you know like, what I mean? for the like, I it's funny because like I have that kind of a mentality for things and whenever things would start to shift, when I, a lot of the times it would be more along the lines of like you notice the shift, but this is the this for me personally as a because as a woman is really different. Most men expect you to become emotionally involved, like right off the jump. Like most men right, expect true. women to become emotionally involved, and it's you know insulting to me 
as a woman. <laughs> like, quite lit. Well, I mean, we have emotions. Qu- so, quite, like, if you're like, going to do this Quite a honestly, time with it's a little insulting in the sense that I'm like, you, you think I can't compartmentalize the fact that, like, I don't want that, you know? Interesting. Like, to me, a lot of it is is along the lines of, like, yes. And I think even for me now um or even before it's like i liked a lot of the men that i would that i would be messing around with or whatever and i would be like yo i could really like i could potentially sit there and say i could really see something happening out of this Mm -hmm. you know and again that's not to say that these men that i that i would be talking to weren't you know giving me those vibes or whatever but at the end of the day when i said i only want this i'm not looking for this i cannot give you my time after this we need a you know whatever if for some reason that started to change or you wanted me there more often or you needed me this or you were expecting me to be a specific way if you never told me if i never said to you that we were going to be exclusive if we never said to each other that we were going to do this do not you know come at me and say oh my god you did this oh my god you did that or whatever right i could have liked you i could have really liked you but that does not mean that i cannot compartmentalize over the things that i said i needed to do right and the things that i wanted to do right because at the end of the day i might want you in fact I'm, i i know i have i know the names of the men that i could really be like you could be and would be great as a partner and I really liked you because you 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 were honest. You said these things. You were like this. You whatever you you had little traits that I was like, yeah, that's it. That's that's a good man right there. But because I'm aware that I'm one, don't want a relationship, and two, I'm not ready for that shit. There's too many things that I need to achieve before I even think about even soft launching a dude. Okay, yeah. like that that no, like to, so to me, I'm like, bro, no, like I I got a you got I got a couple more years left to go before i even consider like you would it have to be such an outlying like event for me to be like oh yeah i could really consider this it would have to be so out of line for that to happen and it's not gonna happen it's never gonna happen it would literally never happen because of the fact that i'm so dead set on saying no because you yeah. could you because at any point in time i could turn around and irrationally start saying things like but I really like you and I really want to spend right. time with you. And no man would ever think twice about a girl acting that way. But most men, yeah. whenever I walk away from it all, are like, oh, yo, you really meant that then. Like, you really meant that you didn't want this. Yeah. I was like, yeah, I said what I said. You didn't yeah. listen. So I'm going to walk away. Yeah. I'm the and- same way on the other side. Like, if, if I see a girl say what she means and do what she means, even if it's hard, I'm like, man, respect. Like, I'm like, I have respect for you. I admire you. I like, I know you're about that life, you know? And like, the, the respect carries over. Yeah. Like longevity wise. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like there's women that I, that I, I even though I, even though I'm friends with a, a lot of my exes, there's women that I've been involved with that I have a lot of respect for, even though we haven't talked in years. Mm-hmm. And I know that they have a lot of respect for me. I know that like, yeah, they have. They might still be not not happy with the outcome, yeah. But they, they're like, but you know what? I can't say. I can't say that that man did not mean yeah. what he say, did what he had to do, this and that, blah blah. Like he did not lie to me. Mm-hmm. And you know I what I mean? And, I also, that, and that will make that will stick with somebody. That I will make somebody think, say like, bro, I also that's character. Think it's like it's. I think it's very really important. Also, like I try my hardest to not take into account the way other men or men in general that I've like come across act mm-hmm. around others. I've, I try my hardest to just be very like paying attention to the way that they, they talk to me and act around me and do things with me because in public, you mean in, in general, oh, like okay. whether or not, like if a man is telling me, Hey, um, I only want so and so and so this is what I want. Right. Okay. And I see, them do the same thing with other girls or whatever, right? And it's just like, look, dude, you you didn't lie to me, right? You didn't lie to me. You said you yeah. you said to me that you wanted to be hoeing around. You said to me that you was doing all these things, and you're not lying. Bro. I got no issues with you doing whatever you're doing, and and you obviously got no issues with with what I'm doing. Yeah. So I respect you for that. I also respect the fact that, um, better said, 
I can understand where people might be like, oh, let's say I, I am aware of whatever they're doing with other people and it doesn't match up with whatever the fuck that they're telling the other person or right. whatever. It's like, look, at the end of the day, I ain't got nothing to do with me. Right. So like, and I think people have a hard time with that. They're like, oh my God. For instance, a friend of mine, a friend of mine was like, but this guy, like he's doing this. But I know that like somebody else told me that this guy's doing this with some other girl. And I'm like, yeah, but that's not what they're doing with you. So mm -hmm. like you can't, tr you can't like, for instance, you can't take the way that they acted with their ex to, to be the way that they're going to act with you. If you were to ever be in a relationship, you cannot put those two together because that person is going to be a very different person with you as a relationship that they would be with that person beforehand. Yeah. You don't know if that person did those things with that ex solely because the ex was bitching and whining about it. Not because they were the good guy or because right. they were this guy that like was able to do these things. Also, you, oh, don't you mean know, on the good and the bad. Yeah, on the good and the bad. Yeah. And then vice versa. Like if you are going to be entering into a relationship with the guy, you cannot be like, oh, but he treated his ex like this. So maybe he's going to be like this with me, too. It's like, no, bitch, you got to go. You got to go into this whole blank slate. Yeah. The way they're treating you now, the way they're acting, however they're saying things, whatever they're doing. This this man's going to be a very different man with you, even if it's been a couple months after they left their ex, like, because whatever happened with their ex changed that man into whoever the man that you're going to be dating is now. So you cannot, you can't put two and two together. So I've, I've, I've found that it's like hard, but also rewarding to truly take people for their word. to truly just be like, I'm a trust with you, whatever you guys say. You got no reason to lie to me. I got no reason to lie to you. So it's just going to be what it is. I, I, I go back to the fact that, like, I come from, again, this goes back to the, like, wh wh when I was born. I come from a generation where I think I was seeing the last, like, in the hood. Mm. Like, I was seeing the last talks of, like, pimps and players and this and that. Like, right now, yeah. player has a different connotation now than, than it, it used did. to. Oh, yeah. Because player now means that you play women, that you lie to a woman yeah. and you do this and, and that you played her mm -hmm. because you were with somebody else and then and you're just a fuck dude. Yeah, you're just a fuck, fuck boy, boy yeah. right? And you played that girl, you played that girl, you played that girl. That's not what player used to mean. Player used to mean that you got game. Yeah. Player used that to mean- That you got mean, riz. <laughs> That's yeah, different. Play, player used to be that you were honest. Yeah. Player, like if, if you considered yourself a, a player, like in a lot of pimps too, there was a, a lot, I mean, there's a lot of bad pimps out there, but there was also a lot of like pimp culture where the pimp never touched the woman, mm -hmm. where like a pimp would be like, don't, don't touch women, dude. Mm -hmm. That's not what that's for, right? There was a lot of moments where players used to be like, like, Hey, let me talk to you, you know, girl, but like, you know, blah, 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 this and that, this and that, this and that. And then all of a sudden the girl be like, no, I don't want to talk to you. Be like, oh, my bad, baby girl. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? I, yeah. I had it confused. I didn't know what to do. My bad. Cool. But listen, I'm, I'm really feeling you. So maybe next time, you know, I'll holler at you, yeah. you know, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And it was confidence. Those same players at, at the time, it, you know, back mm -hmm. then will go to strip clubs and be like, if she told you not to touch her, don't touch her. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I was just watching Killer Mike sit, say this today, and it was like, yeah, that's what players used to do. Now, that's why now whenever I think, yeah. that's why whenever I think about like the way that I behave in front of people, like I'm not, I'm not the dude in like a low. I'm not trying to flaunt. I'm mm -hmm. not trying to do like you know any of these things the way that they used to be, right? But I remember them being like, yo, say it, say it like you mean it. Yeah. Say whatever is on your mind. Say say it. She will know that you're telling the truth yeah. because girls because because women can tell. Yeah. When you lie into her. Yeah. Right. Say it, even if she don't like it, she will tell you, mm -hmm. and then you go from there. But at the very least, you you don't have to be playing games. You don't have to be this or you have to be that, and then. The act of having that charm well, and, being, and being able to be that direct, being able to be that charming. Most of those girls that players would hang around with or pimps knew that the dude was with other girls. And they were like, that's cool because I know he doesn't lie to me. Yeah. Because I know that he doesn't like. Yeah. Do you because know what the I mean? Boy, the fuck boy truly has ruined a lot of shit. I just got to well, say. Yeah. And well, Yeah. Because fuckboy culture, like the way, the way, the way that, um, and I wouldn't even say, I, honestly, that this is just like pertaining to men, because I've seen a lot of women do this thing, do this too, right? Where they're, yeah. where they're, you know, that's where the, the whole like munch culture or munch, whatever, like. I don't know what that is. You know what a munch is? I don't know what a munch is. You don't know what a munch is? I don't know what a munch is. <laughs> 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 what is a munch? A munch is a man 
who um, only gives and never receives. A munch. So they munching on a girl. But they're not receiving anything. It's supposed to be a sexual act. But like, it's like, now many men are like, oh, you're, you're a munch. Meaning like, oh, I'll do whatever you want me to do. I'll give you whatever you want me to give you. Buy you whatever you want me to buy you. That's a simp. Yeah, well, now they call him munch. It's a little different than a simp. Like, you could be simping for a girl and be like, oh, my God, goo goo gaga. But, like, the girl could still, like, reciprocate that to you as a simp. They don't reciprocate. So, much is worse? Much is worse. Much sounds like. Much is worse. Much much is worse. Damn, I don't know. I've never done that, so. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. So, what was I saying? I mean, there's been moments where, oh, I've, yeah, yeah. where I've given, <laughs> and in that moment, I didn't receive. But I mean, collectively, holistically, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not running through that whole relationship never receiving. <laughs> yeah, I'm, no. I'm gonna be like, what? Like, <laughs> no. Espérate. The, the fuck. Okay, what was I saying before? The fuck boy. The fuck boy culture. I'm gonna push back fuck- on that a little bit. Fuck boy culture has ruined a lot, but also the fact that fuck boy culture is so prevalent, it means that whenever you mean what you say, you stand out to women. Oh, absolutely. So like, if you if absolutely. if if you're if you're I a also, guy that re- that really has it together, I and also you're, feel you, like you could just be honest. And the girl would be like, this oh is so God, new. This is, that's <laughs> why these crazy bitches start coming out here being all like, oh my God, this man is, this man is it. It's like, no, baby, he was just being honest with you. This, this is why you need to get, right, your, get right. your priorities right. That's what should happen. That's what you, you that's how you should be treated. You just shit. Exactly. And then you think that what should happen is like next it's, level it's, shit. It's above, and no, actually, bitch. no, I agree with you now. Treat I agree em. with you. I agree with you now. The fuck boy culture has ruined that because you took because now regular behavior that should be it, happening not it, it meet, bitches like, are holding it, it up it, out it's here. It's holding it up like it's the like high baby standards. Girl. That's not no, where they should be. That's, yeah, that's, okay, that's right. level one. I don't know why you think that's level one hundred. Like I really, you need to know. Like because I've seen it. Like this is and this is why part of me is all like because I've rec because this sounds going to make me sound really stupid, but like I feel like because I've recognized that. I've got into it because at one point or another, I was deep in the fuckboy culture in the sense that I was playing into it. I was playing. I was that girl playing into the fuckboy culture, letting men be like that, talk to me like that. And so when I did meet men that were honest, it did feel like, oh, my God, this is you elevated. Them. I elevated it. I genuinely did. And like somehow, some way I transformed my mind and I somehow I'm just I'm that bitch now. In a way, sorta. You, well, you can catch. You've matured. Like, you can I've catch matured. the fuck boy. I can. I can. I can identify the. Fu- <laughs> I can fuck identify boy. the fuck boy. <laughs> Just fuck, <laughs> fuck him out boy. of the air. You really thought that was gonna work? <laughs> like, Stupido, este estupido. <laughs> estupido. <laughs> like in Spanish, because in Spanish, ho, oh, hold up. Actually, I got something. This is a completely different segment, and 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 and, and, and I'm gonna let you finish. But listen. I have been on a ranchera kick yeah. like recently. Ever since I saw Alicia Keys with, that, with, with, with all the Spanish singers. Mm-hmm. Bruh, nobody in this world writes love songs like Spanish speakers do. None of them do. And I'm a songwriter. Like I write love songs. We there is the, there is not, the ranchera woman though we speak from the motherfucking heart bro that there shit, is mm, there is like not even even, even in the men even everybody. even the men sing it all like, of them bro they they spanish, speak it right here spanish singers love songs spanish culture spanish speaking love songs are on another they're on a different stratosphere bro like name the best name the most romantic best love song that you've ever heard in english name it i can name a couple Right? That are like classics that you're like, bro, like this is what makes me cry. Think about like Adele, right? Mm-hmm. Think, Adele, think, think, Alicia, think about some, got some stuff. Uh, Alicia, if I ain't got you, mm-hmm. right? I can't make you love me, Bonnie Raitt. Uh, yeah, yeah, I will yeah, always love yeah. you, Whitney Houston. Miss Lauren Hill. Lauren Hill. Yeah. Like, there's some classics. Cla- but you're like, yeah, this is it. so good to be true. Yeah. That is some bops, bro. There's some yeah, bops yeah, in English yeah, yeah. and you're like, man, that, fuck, that tears me. Like, Absolutely, bro, yeah, yeah. It tears me doesn't come remotely close, Not even close to some of these Spanish songs. Not even close. In terms of like description, how they talk about it. I've been, the I way was their like, intonation in the voice bro, changes whenever they're trying to like convey bro, despair, sadness, bro, longing. I'm like, bro, how do you do that? Like, bro, 
the a perfect clear cut example off top Dreaming of You by Selena doesn't even come close to Selena's Spanish shit. Oh, yeah. In terms of, like, emotion and feeling, like, bro. Literally, Tú, Solo Tú by Selena and Dreaming of You by Selena. Like, it's the same women, same everything. But when she sang that song, talking about, like, despair, the, 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 the heartbreak that she felt about loving this man, that person specifically in Spanish, literally the lyrics aren't even that deep, bro. The lyrics aren't even that long. It's quite literally, it could be a real small poem if you really think yeah. about it. And the way she just conveyed the, Next I've level. only ever loved you. Look at what you did to me. I'm drinking myself to the bone. What the fuck, bro? bro. And you're like, that's... Take a classic. Even have a guy sing it. Take Tragos Amargos. <laughs> Right? Transpose, like, just flip it and write it in English, and it sounds like a horrible song. <laughs> it's a, for real. <laughs> like, whenever the chorus comes around and he goes, que, y me siento un cobarde que hasta me ponga a llorar. If Bruno Mars sang that shit, you'd be like, why did you just call yourself a coward? <laughs> I feel like why a did coward you just call I'm yourself crying. a coward? What, what is going no. on? Like, Neo couldn't write that. No. Right? You know what I mean? And Neo has that, uh, 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 don't want to, but I can't help it. Uh, the, the way you feel. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. That's not like Michael Jackson when I do that. But, <laughs> but look, but, but, but like, but. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, if you just translate it. Hasta me, y, y me siento un cobarde. I feel like a coward. If you if you said I feel, I feel like, like a coward, coward so now I, I want to cry. cry. Nah, bro, that like, just bro, doesn't make you're sense. Right? That's some that's some that's some simp shit. Yeah. Like if you say it in English and it's like it but falls you, apart completely. But, why, but when that man that's, said, that's why, that's why like you you're know, like, oh, shit, duff, you're right, bro. The, the, that's how you know that the Spanish just got that love, that romantic, like that. Because that's I feel like this is why like women or like Hispanic women like are used to and and have been accustomed to men literally fawning and simping over them because quite literally yo, we need to bring the set and not that back all yo <laughs> yo we, 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 I need we to need, have a set and not the outside we see, my we, house we, we need to bring the set and not the back I need you with the bluetooth speaker outside with the instrumental on your phone from YouTube putting it on the on the bluetooth speaker okay. outside I don't care if you're drunk bro oh, yeah, yeah. I need you to be with a with a with a beer bro, at even, hand there's that singing one. to me telling me you love me from a, from down there while I'm up here looking at you like you look there's dumb that, there's but that I don't one care. song look dumb there's that one song from los los, los tiranos del norte that even talked about serenatas and how what what did he say he goes uh uh, uh the, the song is called nada contigo and 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 he says uh he says fuck what does he say he says uh, you know what i'm just going to play it fuck it y'all are going to get the bro gonna, another example right. i feel like the another example is like so much La Puerta Negra, bro. La Puerta Negra. La Puerta else. Negra, bro, is literally. That was it. Look, and he even goes through it, too. Let me see. boys have ruined man because we if, need to bring the set and we the need bag. to bring the set and at the back we need to bring back this whole like i don't know if i would ever do a set and at the, but i'm just saying we need to bring it back we need to bring it back Yo, we have you seen those videos back. online of the dude and like in spanish countries in, in like hispanic countries that are doing the set and at the, but then like the girl like opens the window and the other dude's in the window bro <laughs> 
the bro. feeling the feeling yo look somebody him up look him up on your own yeah somebody gotta check out my mans somebody gotta check out my mans, oh, my so, man. <laughs> gotta check out my bro. mans bro but anyway yeah like I said like even in Spanish like some of the words that they be saying in Spanish manly men macho men Vicente from Spanish Fernandez saying, is known like, as being one of the most machoest men in the world and, and, and my dude out there fuck. crying in the middle of his songs just telling you bro this this, this, this is, hurt me. This is, this, this and he's been with his wife forever, so the, you know that that shit came from this the is, heart. This, this is why. This is why black guys and white guys love Hispanic women. Why? Because Hispanic women would be like, "That's not enough." Oh yeah. They challenge them. They're like, "What you mean? If you're not gonna cry for me, cry for me right now." <laughs> because I said that before. <laughs> hey, show me you love me. Show cry. me you love. Cry for me right now. Cry for me right cry now. Cry for me right now. Right now. You, you ain't gonna have that. You, you didn't cry. You know you, where I come you from. You cry for the dog, but you ain't gonna cry for me. You ain't gonna. You, you know where I come from. <laughs> Chente cried on stage in Yo. front of thousands of people. You can't cry in front of me. You're not gonna cry in front of me. You're not gonna be vulnerable with me. The fuck, bro. His yeah. bad women don't play dog. No, his bad women are I've like. I've been that before. Wholeheartedly, with all my chest, I said, Cry. How come you ain't never said that? Ese culo se merece todo. <laughs> <laughs> How come you ain't never said that about my ass? <laughs> <laughs> To keep with the Gen Z, we're gonna we're gonna call Bad Bunny now. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Try to translate that into English. <laughs> that ass deserves everything. Fucking falls apart. Ain't nobody saying that. You can't be romantic saying, "Girl, that ass deserves everything." But in Spanish, we're like, "Baby, ese culo se merece todo." Damn, girl, that girl's yes, like, "You right? You right? You right? You right? I knew I wore the right. I knew I right. I wore the right dress. <laughs> I knew I wore the right dress to this to this baby shower." <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? You just can't do it like Spanish speaking countries, bro. You just can't. You just can't do it. You can't. That is like, like I, I realized this this past week, and I love. I, I'm a songwriter. I be I be listening to songs, and English has some beautiful, beautiful, beautiful songs, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful music. But in terms of like these words, I'm like, bro. I wish I could write in Spanish. Yeah. Because some of these, some of these songs are like, bro, like y'all are y'all are really All writing, of them, bro. y'all are really like, writing from if, a if different it, place in your soul, you really bro. Really do because like when you're talking about like <laughs> you even even the like like I I've, I have like wa like read or like listened to even the like the. Um, Bachata and shit like that. Yeah. Like bachata is one of the most romantic. First of all, well, very sensual, a very sensual essential. and romantic fucking songs ever of a music type ever genre. Because like you'll be listening to a you're, song. Yo, if you're, you're a man, a you know how to dance bachata. You, you already, oh, you, you, you won, already baby, like, you, you already fifty steps ahead because 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 the, the, the these men are scared to dance and then all of a sudden and you Latina get them on the floor and they're like, like side to side. Nah, side bitch. to side. But if you can and dance Latinas, bachata, you Latinas be, will be on you like nobody's business. You don't want to work out? That's fine. That's fine. You don't want to have a lot of money? Those hips that's to watch fine. Bachata, but I'm dance okay bachata. With it. Put on some YouTube videos and and in Learn. the comfort of your own home, try to move, try try, try three Learn. step that bitch. I'm gonna if y'all look. I'm gonna write out a, like a like a twelve step plan <laughs> on how to catch yourself a Latina. <laughs> One of them is gonna be learn how to dance bachata. If you don't know how to dance bachata, if I can't dance 24 horas contigo, what's the fucking point? Because 20, yo, again, yo, I'm gonna tell you how important. And shout out to shout out to my friend. You'll know who this is. I'm not gonna I, 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 I'm not gonna start by name. But I went I went to lunch with her because we were working on something. I was I was doing some work for for she she she's a. Uh, the the choreographer for like a Latin dance company, mm -hmm. and when she I, w I was sitting here asking her how her life was going, this and that, blah blah. And the way that the way that this woman said, she said, "I was like, so are you look are you looking for a partner, blah blah?" She's kind of on your wave, like oh, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm on my own, I'm, I'm yeah. strong, independent, blah, blah blah, this and that. I'm not looking for nothing right now, right? And I said, okay, but when you do, what you looking for, mm -hmm. right? As a friend, I'm asking her, right? She's all like, well. The main thing is that I gotta be able to to dance with him. Yeah, and yeah. I was like, what do you, I was like, yeah. what do you mean? I was like, what do you mean? That's your main thing? She goes, yeah, yeah. like, like I'm, yeah, I know you could dance with anybody, and people know no. steps, and people know this, and people know that, and you could just take somebody out to dance, and you can know the steps, and todo, and everything's fine, right? I'm like, yeah. She goes, but there's something different. 
it's whenever different. that Latin music hits and you and you close to somebody and you and you and and the and the and and your and, and song, your body temperatures right comes, and your yep. body temperatures are mixing and the right song is happening and then all of a sudden the, like if I can't get on a dance floor with you and like to her that was yep. the intimate part to mm-hmm. her that was like the intimate moment it was it was probably akin to like sex in a lot of ways Hell like yeah. like she, she, she's like if I can't share that with my mans. I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do it. And I was like, so you automatically not 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 thinking about like look, look, just, just black guys and white guys and stuff. She's like, yeah, I, oh, I can't yeah. I can't think of it. I can't think of it. Like I gotta be able to to I gotta be able to feel that 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 rhythm with them. Absolutely. I was like, bro, that's Absolutely. crazy. Like an example, an example for the for the for the people that don't know about like Hispanic culture and music, a, a, a bachata song, and I'm with her. I'm with your friend. I this is why I'm having. I don't think you have met yet. Maybe you guys have, but I don't think you guys met. I think I know who you're talking about, but I'm not too sure. In in instance, speaking, okay, I feel like I gravitate as much as I like other men, like physical qualities and stuff like that, and physical features of like very distinctive different races and cultures. I unfortunately have to limit myself a little bit about like i need a man to dance because if i cannot dance to to this to these lyrics right here esta noche tan bonita contigo quiero estar deja la puerta semi abierta calladito voy a entrar first of all he out here talk about sneaking into somebody's house <laughs> <laughs> like let's start off with how creepy that is a little bit but it's okay because the essence of the song <laughs> is about Love it. And this is about like teenagers, I guess, because it's like, that's. <laughs> <laughs> you just made it extra creepy. Why are you telling me about teenagers? Well, no, I'm 32 like, years old. What the fuck are you telling me about teenagers for? Tus padres no se van a despertar abrazaditos en la cama. Bien la vamos a pasar. That's how, that's how, that's, that's the shit I grew up listening to, bitch. So, like, so if you ain't trying to not wake my parents, but, but, but still having the time of our lives, if you can't be that discreet, then yeah. don't even, don't and even talk to me. And then the song me. goes, baby, estás en mi mente las 24 horas. So basically the whole damn song is about them saying like, I want to be with you 24 seven, like all day, all night. Right. So you cannot tell me. Too much. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got to go to work. You got to me. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> the, the, the realistic part of me should sound like, damn, all day. All damn. day. All day. Fuck. I got to work out. I got, I got, I got things where to gonna, do. Where, where, where am I going to do my workout? Exactly. I got a meeting on, on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> but this is what I'm saying. I got to make though. this money. But this Who's is what I'm saying. Like, Hispanic music being so like yeah. romantic and stuff like that, that us bitches, me bitches, <laughs> is like, Literally, <laughs> she's like me. I'm bitches. I am bitches. <laughs> like I listen to this music, and I'm like, if a man cannot dance with me to this music, I don't want you for what? What do I need you for? You, I don't need you. If I can't pull up to the quince with you, Not if I can't, quince. if I can't pull up to the fucking weddings with you, look, I I say this all vehemently, all the time that I want to go to like. Even Fabians, but I don't want. I want to go to Fabians on the days that they have like their live music playing, whether where they actually got you, like. You didn't hang out with you didn't hang out with my homegirl because she because yeah, she cause like, she be going I, to those places. Those, all those socials and stuff. That's what I want to go to Fabians. Like, no, I'm not saying I'm not trying to go and like throw ass to, at, at Fabians on like Bad Bunny nights and shit like that. But I want to go on like the day they got like cumbias playing or the day they got like but, yeah, salsa, but, salsa and, salsa and all and these shit. other salsa nights and shit like that because that's. That's that's where I know I'm gonna find me my man, ultimately. Because if a man, if a man, <laughs> ultimately, that's why I don't go because I'm because I know if I go, I'm gonna find him. I'm not ready. I'm gonna find him. So, I'm gonna scope one of them out. I know where out. he is. I know Bro, where he stay. I swear to God, I feel like I'm like like purposely trying when to. When I'm ready, it. I'm gonna go. I'm, I'm gonna go, go and I'm gonna know where I find him. And he's gonna be there. And I and I'm. I know a, for a fact I'm gonna find me like some weird, some you know, super obscure salsa little dance club in New York, and that's where I'm gonna find me my my dude. Your Puerto Rican. My Puerto Rican. <laughs> I'm gonna find me my Puerto Rican out there. <laughs> Mommy, ya, ya tu sabes. Ya tu sabes, don't I? Yeah. <laughs> Overall, though, you're right. I do feel like the Serenata should come back. 
And yeah, let's you bring know, serenatas back. This is. I just want to see them more. You, you know how I y'all made. You, you know how y'all made uh, flash mobs a thing for a minute. Where like re- like bring randomly you guys serenatas. would all start the dancing and stuff. We need to bring back public serenatas. We, we need to bring back. Bring out the b- b- bring out the microphone. I want get yourself to, a mariachi band and like fucking go to town and sing it. You, you know, know what? what I mean? That's a, that's. That's a new one. I'm going to add that to the list. I'm going <laughs> to add that to the list of like, you do that for me? All right. You know? You, you leveled up some points. Yeah. Imagine a white boy does it. That's some style points. Nah, don't, don't start with like, nah. Because if he does okay. it and he does a little bit of research, but he really like, okay, I, you know I, what I mean? He really boy, puts if son- a white boy were to do that for me... Yeah, he doesn't even have to try to speak Spanish. What if he just nah, goes up to like? Even if it's even if even if it could be bro, it could be it could even be even if he's bumping to like eighties rock or something. Nah, love, it, it could love be like songs if I catch something. a grenade for you, but like mariachi version. What's wrong with you? No, I'm okay with the boombox. I'm okay with the with the whole like. I'm just saying like, he's gonna appeal to, like, your, to your Mexican sensibilities. What if he has a whole mariachi band behind you? <laughs> Mexican sensibilities. <laughs> yeah. What if he's trying to appeal to your Mexican sensibilities and then he has a whole mariachi band with you? But but then, but Bro, he don't know how I, to speak Spanish, so he's man, not gonna he's not gonna be doing if, mi complice. If, he's, <laughs> 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 yeah, he's not gonna be doing mi complice. He's gonna be doing he's gonna he's gonna probably gonna bring out some Bruno Mars. And he's gonna, but he, but mariachi style, and he's gonna be like, babe, I don't know what I don't know this song, but I'll catch a grenade for you. But I'm gonna catch a grenade for you with the with the violin and the the bajo sesto behind me. (laughs) You know what I mean? And and and, and that's cute. And you know what? This this is kind of what kind of what we were talking about before, in the sense that like, don't let basic basic ass men and their and their basic ass honesty convince you that this is otherworldly shit. Their basic ass honesty should be the bare minimum. I should and I will be getting serenatas, bro. bro. I, 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 I fully support this. I will now 100% be vibing on in this world with that ex- in with my that expectation. mind. Uh, For sure. I, I, I remember I remember I would watch like the proposals, like those like famous proposals, right? And I stopped oh, watching them yeah. because I'm like, bro, y'all are setting the bar too high. <laughs> I, remember, I remember being really upset. Like, I can't pull that off. What are you I talking about? I can never about? pull that off. What the there, fuck? There was, a, there was that one dude. Actually, I could probably pull this one off, but I was all like, bro, that's a lot of work. <laughs> the, uh, uh, there was that one dude that like had the quote from the very first date of that girl that, that he was with, that his, his, his now wife. It said, let's let's make them, um, uh, let's make our life like the movies. That was a quote that they did because they went to the movies the very first de- the very first date, right? So he remembered that, and he and and he occasionally that occasionally they would be cute with each other, like let's make the life like the movies or whatever, right? So this man took her to the movies, and you know how there's the trailers in the movies. He made a whole trailer of his proposal, so she was watching the trailer. The trailer of the th- uh, like that she was watching was like a close up shot of his hand. He the he filmed him asking her like super cinematic. I'm not talking about like the YouTube video like. But selfie. she didn't know it was. She them didn't first. know it was him. She she didn't know it was them. It was a trailer of him asking. Like getting ready for no, the proposal. No, it was a trailer of him asking her dad. For her, for her, for her oh. hand and her dad being like, yeah. And like, she's like watching it or whatever. And then she sees, she hears her dad's voice and you, and there's a camera pointed at her cause somebody's like filming. And then there's like, she's watching and she's like, like that voice sounds kind of familiar. And wow, then we got to pull this up. Then, I want to see this. And then, and then all, and then all of a sudden we're about to run out of camera. So, yeah. so like, but like all of a sudden she gets, she like re- yeah, realizes and it's a whole action sequence of this man going from like his house and getting the approval to like rushing out the door to the movie theater. And like the end of the little trailer is him like rushing through the movie theater and then like waiting to like pay for a ticket. <laughs> and, like, <laughs> and then like he's, he's running through it that he's already pre-recorded. Right. And then all of a sudden, like he runs through and it cuts and he actually walks in through the theater and, and, the, and the whole theater isn't even random people. The whole theater is all their fans. Family. He he bought they bought a ticket for their whole family oh, yeah, to be yeah. at the theater and she and they sat her ass in the very front row so she wasn't even paying attention to anybody that was in there she didn't know that it was her whole family she just thought she was gonna watch a movie and then uh, 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 and then all of a sudden the, the lights fucking me. turn on and it's her whole family watching seen, her get proposed to and I'm, I'm like bro I'm not can't compete with that, <laughs> that what's wrong why would you film that why would you put that on YouTube for all I, the girls I, to I, see I've seen 
like the one where it's like she loves Disney princesses and he animated her? Oh, yeah. That one's tight too, but that one's not as good as that, uh, this one. Oh, shit. This one's the Damn, all, all don't the be setting these bars that high, bitches. That's because, what I said. Because, on that note. <laughs> because I'm out here like, I had to, I had to, I think like I had to really like bring it all down because I'm a very big love nut. Like I love, you the love, idea love? Of, I love love. I love the idea of romance. Like I'm a very, I'm one of those people that's like, yo, the minute I invest, I'm going to invest in you. I'm about to pour all this love into you, bro. Like so much of it is so big. But ultimately I, I had these like love. I love watching rom-coms and shit like that. So these like high ass expectations, yo, this world had to humble me so badly. <laughs> like, like, Couple fuck boys I, had to be like, the, here's a one pedal. <laughs> <laughs> like, I found a pedal even, on the floor reminding me of you. Not even, bro, it's a, it's a piece of lint from their fucking pocket, bro. Like that bad. Like, but like, I'm gonna bring it back up, bro. I'm gonna bring it back up. So now y'all gotta, now y'all hear it. Y'all hear this. We gonna talk to each other. Serenatas, okay? For me, Una serenata. And so, uh, that being said, follow us on all our social media, everywhere, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, what's the other one? YouTube, the whole nine. Catch you guys later. We're making some changes, but until then, peace. Okay, watch this. Yeah.